number one, production number 0276, VTR 10569, part one, take one. Inside, will you? Watch it! Blowing his eggs in now! Look, you're late. Get in that cab. Look, I got here seven minutes early to do that shopping. Yeah, well, now we're eight minutes late. You're a lousy shopper. Get in that cab. Hang on a minute. Blimey, <laughs> <laughs> what's up now? Forgot my stamps. <laughs> on my shopping, did you? Look, I've had hundreds of passengers on and off this bus. I haven't had a time to keep an eye on your frozen veg. You shouldn't put your shopping on the bus. Look, I've told you before I've got the old lady and Olive down with a flu. Blimey, somebody's got to do it, haven't they? Yeah. Well, then. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> you idiot. I couldn't help yeah, it. Yeah, watch it. Here comes the guest star, mate. Late again, Butler. Yeah. What's it this time, eh? Eh? What is it? <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, that is, um, <clears throat> yeah. You had, uh, you had livestock on a bus, haven't you? Ah, it's just a broken egg. Yeah. Egg? Yeah. I can see it's an egg. Well, how'd it get down there? Well, did you know? We got in on top. <laughs> Twit. There's another one. Where are they all coming from? Here? Oh, come on, give us it. It's come to my shopping. Come on, don't Your shopping? Up. Yeah. You know the regulations, butler. What? Eh? Hey? I don't know yours. Oh, God, Eddie. <laughs> Might be a passenger. Yeah. Passenger might lay that on the seat. <laughs> I know the rules. I should own that into the lost property. You do that. If nobody claims it in three months, it's yours. <laughs> well, you sure I don't think I'll be fool enough to go and collect it, do you? After three months, you wouldn't have to. He'd have come and collect you. <laughs> oh, poo. Poo, mate. <laughs> the smell of that one down there, you won't have to wait three months. Talking about He's oh. right, you know, it's well off. Well, blimey, that's a liberty. I paid six bob a dozen for those eggs. They told me they were farm fresh. Farm fresh? <laughs> Smells like a farmyard. Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous, mate. Look, you can see they've got the feathers on them. Look, new lane. You ignorant moron. They're duck's feathers. Probably stuck on with fish glue. <laughs> and don't let me catch you using the bus to, use your, to carry your personal effects either. I can't help it. I've got them all down with a flu at home. Yeah, they'll all be down with food poisoning when they get that lot down, mate. Here you are. You might as well go home and do your housework. Little mother. <laughs> I ain't doing that. My brother-in-law's doing that. Well, no. Yeah. But you didn't send him to go to do, do the shopping for you. Farm fresh. Poo. Oh. Poo. Hey! You're leaking all over the very floor, man. <laughs> Love it, that's me yoghurt gone with a burden, isn't it? <laughs> Keep moving. When you stand still, you make a puddle. Come on, come on. Get some sawdust and clean that lot up. What? You must be joking. Well, you won't be joking, mate, if somebody comes round here and slips over and bakes her neck on it. Yeah? You try it and see. <laughs>
Stan? Stan? Is that you, Stan? Yeah, it's me. I'm home, Mum. Hey, I'll be up in a minute. And listen, I've got the shopping. Did you get me pink stamps? Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I've got your stamps here. And, uh, no, they're green. Ah, <laughs> you went to the wrong place. Can you take the shopping bag? <laughs> Mum, was that Stan just coming? Yes. Me hot water bottle's gone cold and Arthur says he's too busy to change it. <laughs> Stan! <laughs> Olive's hot water bottle's gone all cold. She left it white. I'll bring it up in a minute. Hey, Arthur, I've done the shopping, mate. <laughs> Take your filthy feet off that floor. <laughs> and watch where you're putting that shopping. I've had to clean everywhere. And what are you doing home so late? Have you been drinking with Jack again? Of course I ain't. No, we're running late. Yeah. I haven't stopped since I came in from work. <laughs> you left this place looking like a pigsty. I get three breakfasts this morning. That's a lot of grub. Yeah, I know. Most of it's on this pan. That should come off, mate. Because that happens to be a non-stick pan. It hadn't been stuck on, mate. It's been welded on. Oh. <laughs> you look cute in your rubber gloves. <laughs> you may scoff, mate, but I do not intend getting my hands rough. <laughs> Keep them nice and smooth, mate. <laughs> yeah, match the top of your head. <laughs> Here, look at that. What? can see my face in there. God blimey, you're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, as you give the old lady a medicine. I have not had time. Oh, blimey, what the hell? I mean, after all, she's had the flu. I mean, it's left her very weak, you know. Stan! 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 <laughs> can I have my tonic? I don't think I'll give her any. As long as she'll have that broomstick right through the ceiling. She's getting weaker, mate. Half an hour ago, she did. Yeah. Stan! Oh. My tonic! I'll bring it up with your dinner! Then be a good boy and bring me dinner up. Oh, Blama, she's getting better, mate. Here, I'm leaving this bad for you. I've got one of my headaches coming on. Yeah, well, I'll have to do some of this shopping, mate. I'll do this shopping. And what, what is that? That's the butter. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous, eh? They bring that 13,000 miles all the way from New Zealand in perfect condition. You can't bring it half a mile from a shop. Ah, got too hot on the bus, I expect. Yeah. You got any fruit for the invalids? Yep, yeah, I've got some grapes. Around and eat potatoes. Uh, <laughs> what do you put them under the potatoes for? Because I bought them first. You put fragile things on top, mate. Blimey, I put the eggs on top and they got broke. <laughs> and what do you buy an empty carton for? It wasn't empty. That was the yoghurt. Ah. And what's this? Ah, that's some tapioca. The doctor said Mum could have some tapioca. She likes it. It's her favourite. Here, I bet she thinks I forgot it. <laughs> oh, blimey. What do you want now? I bet you forgot to get me tapioca. <laughs> I'm cooking it now. You must have very hot hands. Gosh. <laughs> I'm going to do it in this, Arthur. Hey, 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 no. Well, this one, no, oh, clean that one. How about this one, then? That one took me Arthur now. Oh. <laughs> well, give us the cat's bowl. I'll do it in there. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Here, cook it in there. All right, now let me see. Now I want some milk, some sugar, and a tapioca. That's right, isn't it? Don't ask me, mate. You're the cook. I'm just the kitchen maid. I shall be going cream my hands. Get you, darling. Now, let's see. Uh, milk first. That tapioca pudding should be done by now, Arthur. What are you talking about? Your cookbook said two hours at number three. Oh, I couldn't wait that long, so I gave it half hour at number twelve. <laughs> what a shame! What a lot of rot you two talk. Of course it's not the same. No, no. What's the matter with that then, eh? <laughs> Well, that's shrunk a bit, isn't it? Yeah, well, they always do when you cook them, don't they? I'll try a bit from the side. <laughs> Blimey, it's a bit solid, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> that's a pretty big spoonful, isn't it? Yeah. 
Blimey, I've never seen anything like that before. I have, when they were building the M1. <laughs> What are you talking about? Nothing wrong with it. It wants thinning out with a drop of milk at all. <laughs> God, blimey, it's waterproof. <laughs> you know what? You could patent that, mate. <laughs> no, I reckon you've discovered a new type of plastic. <laughs> you can't give that to Marge to eat. What's she ever done to you? What's wrong with it? Blimey, it's only milk, sugar, and tapioca. You try a bit. No, thank you. I am not a tapioca person. And I'm not feeling so good. You try it. No, I'll, uh, I'll give Mum a bit. She'll tell me if it's any good or not. <sighs> Mum, the hot water bottle's freezing. Shall I go down and fill it? No, love, you stay here. Let's stand do it. Oh, all right. Uh, here, Mum. Oh. Hello, Olive. Hello. Are you better? Look, I made you some tapioca. Uh, it didn't come out quite right, though. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> yeah, well, you better try it first. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> but delicious. Can you fill my hot water bottle, please, Dad? God, blimey, I'm up and down these stairs. I'm worn out. Good job I'm a driver and not a conductor. <laughs> oh, but you just told Stan it was delicious. Well, the milk's all right, but I didn't want to upset him. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> oh, I know. I'll give it to Russ. <laughs> Come on, love. There you are. Oh, blimey. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do, Mum. What? You always was a clever girl. Quick thinker. Here, give it a spec. Stan's coming. Hey, how's your hot water, Bill? Thanks, love. The kettle was boiling, see? Be careful, it's hot. Blimey, you soon hit that. Yes. Hey, what's your boiling? No, 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 thanks, love. No. Well, it's plenty downstairs. No, no, I don't want to make a pig of myself, love. All right, then. Now, is there anything else you want me to do before I go? Oh, yes, just a few things. Wait a minute, I put my glasses on. I've got a list here for you. What have you done with it, Russ? A list? Wait, yes, oh, I've got a lovely yeah. list here. Come on, Rusty. here, let's li read this list. Here it is. Take our new prescription to the chemist and bring back the medicine. Medicine? What are you talking about, Blum? You've got all this lot here, look. Well, Blimey, that was when we were ill. Now we're getting better, it's different. Get Olive's sickness benefit, get me old age pension, get the insurance paid, get some nice fresh fish. Is that all? That's all on this page. <laughs> get some oranges, get some apples. Oh, blimey, why can't she do something? Well, she has, dear. She made the list out. <laughs> well, Arthur will have to do something. I can't do all this work on my own. Oh. Oh, what's the matter with you? I thought so. What? 102.5. Hey? <laughs> I've got the flu, mate. You'll have to carry on without me. God, <laughs> blimey, that's all I needed. Well, and it's lucky we're all ill together, Stan. Oh, very lucky. <laughs> well, I shall just have to go to bed for a few days. Oh, well, that's not too bad, love. I'll be in bed all day with you. I... <laughs> Blimey, having flu's going to be worse than I thought. <laughs> Excuse me, darling. Is your husband at home? <laughs> Shut up. Wipe your feet. Wipe all your right, feet. All right, all right. Come on, Stan. We're due out in half an hour. I can't go yet. I'm going to have to wait, mate. I haven't well, taken the breakfast up yet. Well, get your skates on, will you? Don't knock your ash all over my floor. <laughs> all right. Where's the ash taken? Not in there. Blimey, can't you see it's clean? <laughs> I'll swallow it, if you like. <laughs> I'm getting rid of it tomorrow, thank God. Oh, yeah? What's it going to be? Arsenic in the cocoa or weed killer in the centre pods? <laughs> <laughs> no, the doctor said Mum was uh, strong enough to travel, so I'm bunging them off down to her sister at Thorpe Bay. Ah, oh, now, that is a good idea, that is. <sighs> What's that smell? What smell? <laughs> the milk! God! <laughs> God! 
time. It's all your fault, isn't it? My fault? Well, if you'd been late as usual, this wouldn't have happened. It's all right, you can boil up another lot. I can't. I've used up three saucepans already. There you are. Use that. That's no good. Why not? I ain't got no milk. Yeah. Sid, what about our breakfast? Shut up! I'll bring it up in a minute. How do you give it the Go to toast to toast! <laughs> Here, this grill pan's all full of milk. I'll sling it down the sink. No, 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 don't waste it. I'll give that to Arthur. <laughs> but that's all greasy. I know I cooked some lamb chops with it last night. <laughs> he moaned there was no gravy, so he can have it with his milk this morning. Well, it'll taste of lamb chops. I'll tell him it's lamb's milk. <laughs> Oh, blimey, I wonder I can't sweep the floor. They've got all the brooms upstairs. <laughs> I'll bring it up with your breakfast. What a life this is, mate. Where's it? That's it. Sure you can manage, all right? Ah, shut your gob. <laughs> Come on, make some room for the tray. Here. Is that one of your tissues? He said it marvellous. When anyone else takes out a tissue, another one pops up. You take out a tissue, nothing pops up. Shut at me, I can't help it if nothing happens. Nothing ever happens with you. <laughs> oh, Come thank on, quick, God, it's about time. God, to... blimey, I've got a lot here. Cock hold of it. Quick. Here, here's yours. Up. That's it. Do something, do something. Thank you. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Your lordship's all right, I suppose. Last cup of tea, some oh. prunes, and uh, here's your pills, look. Oh, thanks. I'll put them love. on there. It wasn't too much bother for you, was it? No, Didn't no. Didn't have no trouble in the kitchen? Oh, no, 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 it was all right. Now, uh, you eat your prunes up, I want you to be nice and strong for when you travel tomorrow, see? Oh, love, that reminds me. You better take the washing round to the laundry eight. I'll have to do that next week. Oh, no, love, it must go today. You see, we can't go away unless we're all clean. I've got three shifts to do, Mum. For God's sake, I won't be able to do it. All right, love, never mind. I'll manage to get downstairs somehow. Of course, if I hurt myself and can't go tomorrow... Here we go again. All right, right. I've heard it all before. All all right, all right. Come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Under the bed. (laughs) Oh, love, you better take these couple of towels with you as well. Yes, all right, yeah. We want to be nice and clean. Here, wait a minute. There's something else here. Here's some nice... Yes, there you are. There's that. There's my serviettes here. And here's my bed jacket. Well, wait a minute. (laughs) What are you doing? My bed socks. I thought you were taking the sheets off in about a minute. <laughs> get up, get up. Be a good boy. A good boy? I haven't got time to be bad. <laughs> hey, you! Hey, you! That's my laundry! No, it's mine, mate. No, it's mine. This is yours. It's mine. Mine's in a blue bag. That's mine. It's yours. That's my laundry. Just a minute. How do you know it's yours? Is that yours? <laughs> Here, let's take it on the bus, will you? What were you doing with that bird? Trying to pinch her bra? God, blimey, the fuss she made. You thought she was wearing it. Yeah, well, it's a nice thought, though. <laughs> Get in the cab. That's my laundry there. Yeah. <laughs> I've just about had enough of you. Why? The other day it was a shopping. Yeah. Today it's a laundry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know the regulations as well as I do. Busmen will not use the buses to carry their personal effects. Yeah, well, I've got to get home because they're waiting for it, my oh. I don't know they're yours. What do you mean? I know you busmen's tricks. Claiming lost property is your own. Oh, come off. I think I'll prove it is. Well, prove it then. Go on then. What's on top? Go on. What's on top? Right. What, these yours, aren't they? <laughs> 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 Your long comms. <laughs> Your sister's tights, don't mess about. What is? Yeah, never mind. What are these yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your pants, aren't they? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> what, with the leopard spots? <laughs> <laughs> your pants. 
<laughs> Tarzan of the Basset. <laughs> I don't know they're yours. I put them on every Saturday night, don't I? Any witnesses? Uh, uh, hang on. As uh, shop steward, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to expose your private life to an inspector. <laughs> I mean, can anyone identify them for you? Yeah, well, one of the clippers. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, artist from Basildon. She, she's seen them. Has she? Yeah, duh. Don't look like that. She gave them to me as a Christmas present. Yeah, hasn't done her much good. She hasn't seen them since. <laughs> How do you know? Has it, uh, has it got a hole in it? Well, of course it has. That's the way they're made, isn't it? No, he didn't mean that one, Jack. You mean, uh, you mean that hole in the back, don't you? Well, that's where I caught myself on the cabin, uh, screwing the cab, you see. And I put in for a new pair of trousers. Do you remember that, Jack? Yeah, I'll bring it up to the union. You can put in for a new pair of underpants as well. Yeah. I do what my wife runs on your agenda. Now, come on, give it back to you. Come on. Yes, well, it seems you can identify them. Yeah. But don't you let me catch you using a bus to carry your personal effects again. Yeah, well, anyway, come on. I want it all back, cos my family got to get packed up and they're going away tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not surprised if you're wearing things like that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you go round the house swinging from chandelier to chandelier, do you? Have a good rest and, uh, and don't hurry back now. Now, are you sure you'll be all right, love? I mean, can you cook for yourself? <coughs> Blimey, I've been cooking for you three all the week, haven't I? That's one of the main reasons why we're going away. <laughs> well, I've made a menu out. Well, blimey, Mum, I know what to eat, don't I? Oh, it's not for you, love. It's for the cat. Oh, I'll give it a drop of milk. No, no. It's got to have boiled cod and minced liver, then stewed beef, then minced vegetables, and a nice little bit of chopped up art. I'll give it some grapefruit for starters, if you like. It's oh, very really nice. Only mm. chop it up and take the pips out. <laughs> I think you'd better get going, Mrs B. Here, yeah, yes. don't let us stop you with a washing up. Jack will see us to the oh. cot. Righto, love. Ta-da. Come on, then. Hold here, Mrs B. Head them off to the skylight. Now, look, Olive, Arthur, get well quickly, and then you can enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Well, I think we'll just get well quickly. <laughs> Come on, Sunshine. Awesome. All right, Mrs B, all aboard. That's all right. Here you are, Jack. There you go, Arthur. Olive, that's it. Anyway, Here you go, sunshine. Oh, Arthur, it'll be just like a second honeymoon. Yeah, exactly the same. <laughs> there you go, Arthur. Tuck your bottom in. Hold very tight now. Get well soon. Hold very tight now. Tick, tick. There you go. Bye bye. Well, that's it. We got rid of them, Stan. They're all gone now. Get the birds in, eh? Hey, what's wrong, mate? You all right? Oh, blimey, mate. <laughs> I didn't want to tell the old lady, but I feel lousy. No, I think, I think that's 102, isn't it? Oh. You're kidding yourself, mate. That's nowhere near 102. Oh. It's 103.5. <laughs> you got the flu. Yeah. I'm not surprised. They've all three of them heard it, haven't they? Go on, blimey, and I'll catch him. Yeah, <coughs> yes, it must be. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jack, mate, what am I going to do, mate? Oh, uh, don't you worry. You go to bed and I'll fix everything. Oh, good. You'll look after me. No, I'll fix everything at the depot. Get myself a new driver. <laughs> no, don't forget, mate. We're only next door, so if you want the thing, just bang on the wall. If we don't hear you, we'll know you're all right. Or I've snuffed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, either way, you won't need any help, will you? <laughs>
On the buses, part one, produ production number 0277, take one. Still be nine miles an hour faster than your buses, would it? <laughs> Mind you, I've got to be fair. Good idea having a sidecar. Yeah, well, I thought it'd be rather useful to be able to carry two passengers. Yeah, you'd need two people to push it. <laughs> I thought it'd be pleasant to be able to take your modern on it for trips in the country. You must be off your rocker. The old girl can't travel in that. Why can't I? Your poor old dad had one just like this. Often used to go for rides in it. He bought it in, um, 1922. Did he? Yes. With well, the look of it, could be the same one. <laughs> there is no need to be insulting. Never mind, love. 1922 was a very good year for motorcycles. Yeah. I only wish your poor old dad could see me going in it now. Blimey, one ride in that, you'll be up there to tell him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, go and make some tea, love. Here, Ma. What? Come and try the side car for side. Come on, in you get. Oh. There we are. Is it safe? Uh, yeah, well, it is, providing you get out before he starts it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you can't get in there. Look, when I was courting your dad, two of us got him one this size. Uh, two? Yes. Well, we couldn't afford the back row of the pictures in them days. <laughs> I remember him whopping one, so oh, we had to Hey, look, Ma, oh, oh, you'll be safe enough. There's a good safety strap there. Oh, oh yes. now, that's very necessary. Looks a good one, too, Arthur, yeah. yeah. Tested yeah. a ten tonne of braking strength. Very mm. strong one. Very good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll have to fix that one. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't bother if I were you. It'd be quicker for Mum to get out. I huh? should go straight through the windscreen. Oh, <laughs> Yes. That means I've got a ride on the pillion. God, bloody, it won't take you a wait. <laughs> God, look at that. Look at the tyre. Look at that. <laughs> You're getting too fat. She was all right before she married you. Now she doesn't exercise enough. She doesn't do anything enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always too tired. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Come on, love, let's go and get the dinner on anyway, Doc. Always the same, isn't it? You try and please people. Like something, don't oh, you? Go on, family. God, blimey, what's this? It's mine, mate. I didn't know you collected antiques. No, no, true story. <laughs> oh, oh, I'd never seen one of these before. Here, where's the handbook? You'll find it in the British Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you two shut up? Nothing wrong with this. Get out of the way. Good engine. Nice, quiet runner. Oh, go on, then. Start it up. All right. Yeah, see you all, right. Right. Yeah, all right, go on, then. All right, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Well, you must admit that's very quiet. <laughs> that's beautiful. You'd hardly know it was running. Just like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Blimey's watch is making more noise than the engine. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you two shut? I don't know what's wrong with it. It was all right with us. 
started it before. Come <laughs> out of it. You're doing it all wrong. Yeah, little jerks like that. You've got to get it right at the top of the all stroke. Right. All right. right. And look, right at the top of the stroke, either like that, and a big hard push down, like. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's broken it! What, his toe? Oh. No, the starter! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, oh that's it. solid. Oh, they don't make them like that these days. Uh, they don't make them break off like that these days either. <laughs> well, you broke it, mate, you fix it. Well, bloody, it's easy enough. There's only held up with a couple of bolts. No, no, that's sheared off. <coughs> You'll have to strip your gearbox down. <laughs> all right. Get the tools, get the tools out. All right. All right. Yeah, right. They, they came with a bike. Oh, did they? Right, that's it. <coughs> you got the right spanner? Spanner? You're joking. You know what he's got in here? Look at that. A bent knitting needle. <laughs> There's a rusty safety pin. Half a tube of dried up glue. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Some rubber bands, mate. <laughs> well, now we know what's holding the bike together, don't we? No, I can't fix it without tools. Well, I'm not buying new tools, mate. You broke it. You buy the tools. I don't have to buy tools, though, do I, hey? Hey, I'm a busman, and I work at a garage. See what I mean? You'll get in trouble, mate, if they see you taking tools out of the garage. Yeah, but they uh, won't see us taking tools out of the garage, will they? Got it? <laughs> oh, right. Hey? Oh. Oh. <laughs> to get them? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I didn't know what size to get, see, I, so I had a word with Joe, and he told me uh, he's given these couple here, said they'll undo any size nut I've got. Cop. <laughs> You're supposed to be mending a motorbike, not a QE2. <laughs> That's all he can let me have. Well, let's not argue. I said I'd slip these to Harper down the road, so give us a bunk up on the cab, will you? Yeah, right. Go on, it. Here you go. Oh, whoa, hang on there! Oh! You're sticking into my ribs, is He wrenched a slip down my leg now. <laughs> oh, oh! Have you hurt yourself? Not an half cold. <laughs> Don't take it easy. All right. Come on. Right. Right. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it. Get it. Get it for him. That's it. Come on. Get there. Right. In here, then? Uh, uh, well, it was, uh, it's the 10.30 to the cemetery gates, so I thought I'd get in, you know. So. Well, just think about getting out again. Quite. There's your bus over there, the 10.22. Nobody told us. <laughs> well, get over in the other bus, go on. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Get your hand down, Jack. Yes, sir. Uh, quite, quite, quite. <laughs> What's wrong with him, then? <laughs> He's feeling his age. <laughs> oh, you busmen are an unhealthy lot, you know. Yeah. Don't you ever think about keeping your bodies in condition? Go on, get in that bus, Adam. Yeah, right. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, then? Er, uh, uh, um, uh, got a touch of the cramp, you know. It's uh, sitting in the cab all day that does it, you know. Cramp? You've got bad circulation, mate. Yeah. Well, it's all right, don't worry. No, it's not all right. If that leg's not functioning properly, you're not fit. It's all right. I can drive the bus, all right. Drive the bus, all right. You're not even fit to be a passenger in a bus. <laughs> you get that leg functioning properly. Yeah, well, yeah. What you need is a bit of massage. Oh, that's yeah. right. It just so happens I know what I'm talking about. I made a study of the subject. The spasm in that leg muscle needs to be relieved. Here, let me have a go. <laughs> I was merely going to massage your biceps femoris, that's all. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm top steward, I know the rules. Inspectors are not allowed to lay hands on busmen. Yeah. Well, what rule's that then, for God's sake? Section 8, Appendix B. Well, that's a rule that states that an inspector must not get unduly familiar with the clippers and that. Yeah, well, that applies even more so to busmen. Yeah. <laughs> Twit. Well, there's only one thing for it, you'll have to do a bit of exercise. 
Here, watch this. Oh. <laughs> if he does that anymore, he'll take off. <laughs> Look, mate, I want to drive to the cemetery gates, not fly there. <laughs> I learned this when I was in the army. Did you? I used to have men suffering with cramp under me when they were in on manoeuvres. Yeah. Here, watch this one. Look. Oh, yeah? Mm. What regiment were you in? The Tiller Girls? <laughs> this is scientific, mate. Relax, it's an egg muscles. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Well, Blimey's doing a can can. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Bravo. Now lift your skirt up and show some knickers. <laughs> <laughs> now look here. I am not having him driving that bus unless I'm satisfied that that leg is functioning properly. Now, come on, let's have a look at it. Lift well, it up. Come on, lift well, it up. I'll tell you, it's a cramp. I can't lift it any higher. Lift it up, then. Look, I've got it as high as I can get blimey, it. Oh, you are a feeble specimen, honestly. Straighten yourself up, man. Grab her chest out, come on. What's the matter? You're all, you're all tensed up. Relax it, I'll relax it. <laughs> You must have caught your hand on the buckle of my belt. Belt? Yeah. Felt like a bit of cast iron. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look, I'll tell you, the only way to do it, Jack, is give me a walk up and down the back of the shed. It'll take the exposure yeah, away, as he calls it. Yes, well, hurry up back. You're late enough as it is. You're not. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> the cold compress on it. <laughs> Number 11. Ah, there you are. <laughs> That's got rid of them. <laughs> It, it. That's it, isn't it? Yes. Amazing. Mm. Here one minute and gone the next. That's it. Look at that. <laughs> Get that bus out of it. Excuse me. Yeah. Oi! What's up with you then? I've got conductor's crap. Oh. <laughs> Coming in. I oh, you need to bother, Mum. Do you know what? I've stripped down that gearbox, put it back again in, what, under half hour, it, Oh, it's working, then. That is not what he said. <laughs> you can keep your sarcastic remarks to yourself. Now, start it up. All right, all right. Oh, come on, out of the way. Well, come out, get out of everybody. Yeah. Then get on. Let's see what the magician's done this time. Yes. Right. You love. I might not be able to help myself. <laughs> stick it in gear, stick it in gear. Stick it. <laughs> stick it. Gig it. That's it. Right, let the clutch out, let the clutch out. I've let the clutch out, the gear's stuck. Well, it's not stuck. It's, I've tightened it up and I'm a bit tight. Look, get your foot off. Oh, give it a good kick in, right? That's it. Right, right. now then, now then. Let the clutch out and straight out the shed you go. Here right, we go, right. Now then. Gearbox in back to front. <laughs> so you get that gearbox done before I do you. Oh, get it done. What's the matter with you? I think it'd be a lot quicker though, Arthur. I tell you what, what? if I take the seat, put it up this end, and get the handlebars, yeah. and put it up. Oh, <laughs> get it done.
movement. It went forward that time. But what did you expect? Well, another dose of your expert attention I thought might go sideways. Yeah. Gonna take me and Mum for a ride, then? Yep. I've got some crash helmets, picked them up second hand. There we are. Oh, oh look, Mum, they've got all names written on them. Here, Arthur, which am I? Sexy kid or Randy Racer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think either of them fit. You ought to got one olive size. Yeah, well, I'm... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll have this one. Here, Mum, you be the sexy kid. Oh, well. Well, I wouldn't want people to get the wrong idea, lad. There's your mate in Japan. Hey. Bit small, aren't they? Of course they are. All Japanese have got small bonces. Yeah. They must be very safe. I mean, they cover your eyes as well. Of course, you can't see any scenery or nothing. You have got them on the wrong way round. The big one is olives. Oh. What's this here, then? Hey, hey, give that to me. That, no, let's that's have mine. A look. Looks a good bit of gear, aren't they? This. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pants? Is that you? Oh, blimey, you've cooled off lately, haven't you? <laughs> Give it here, I'm going to rub that rubbish off. No, don't rub it off. It's a smashing picture of you here, Arthur. Oh, it's not a bit like your love. Look, if we're going out, let's go now. Give that to you. All right, I'll wave you off. I'll come and wave you off. Yeah. Don't forget to lock the back door. Yeah, it's all right, love, yeah. Right. Here oh. we are. Mind your leg, mind oh, your leg. Crumbs. Mind your head. Oh, here we are, it. Oh. Right. Right now, you get on, Olive, and uh, I'll give you a push out in the shed, Arthur. All right, thank you. Right. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's only one thing. You're covering up the rear light. <laughs> right, now, get up. Go on, get up. Right up there, Arthur, there. Go on. Oh, I'll have to snuggle up tight. Oh, Arthur, this is the way we snuggle up in bed at night. Aye. <laughs> yeah, well, you snorting down my left ear roll. I should wear a crash helmet in bed. <laughs> That's it. That's it, mate. Get her out and away we go. Right? Oh, Off you go, boy. Start a ruddy thing. What do you stop it for? Olive. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We'll give you your hand. I'm ready now, Arthur. Oh, shut up. <laughs> all right, I'm doing my best. No, no, Arthur, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Get it at the top of the stroke and give it a good hard kick like I did. All right. <laughs> That's very good. That's exactly like you did it. <laughs> get back to start off again. Have you got any more good advice? Am I going to start a thing now? Here, have we got any passengers on our bus? No, why? Well, I've got a good idea. No, it'll work this time. I wonder what brilliance is passing through his mind now. Must have slipped out in. Well, Lovely, we can't go back for him. He'll have to sort it out himself. Come on, jump on.
Blimey, Jack. This bus rattles worse than ever. There's a shocking clatter coming from the back, you know. Yes, I heard that too. Yeah. We'll have to get that fixed, you know. Yeah, get it round the maintenance, mate. <laughs> I've just about had a belly full of you, mate. I've just about had enough of you. Where'd you, where'd you get them from? <laughs> Where'd I get them from? <laughs> they was tied on the back of your bus, weren't they? I thought you told me I that... don't know, You've do been you? trailing it all over the town. I've had, I've had telephone calls all day long about this. How'd it get there? Uh, we don't know. Don't know. You'd better give me an explanation of this. Oh, well, God, it's a perfectly simple explanation, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You tell him. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, come um, on. yeah, uh, well, uh, what, um, um, ah, yes, what happened was this, you see, this fellow got on the bus, I think he was an old-time sailor, actually, and I must admit, I was moving down the high street a bit. I suppose he, he got a bit windy and uh, he chucked that out as a sort of, um, second anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! The way you drive, mate, that'd be perfectly possible. But it just so happens that that is a pair of handlebars, not a blooming sheet anchor. He's right, you know. Come on, let's have an explanation. Otherwise, you're going to get dragged up there in front of the general manager. Well, look, I expect some kid tied it on the back when we stopped. I'll tell you what, give it to me, I'll get rid of them for oh, you. Hold no, hold oh, no. No, 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 no. No, that's going in the general manager's office until some idiot comes to claim it. Well, there the handlebars. I wonder how they're getting on with the rest of the bike. Oh, my Oh, I don't think my feet will ever get back to normal. Well, it's not your fault, isn't it? There was no need for you to push it up the hill. I told you I was perfectly willing to do it on my own. I didn't want my husband to get a rupture. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think that would have affected you in any way. Oh, here's Stan. Oh. Oh, well, you made it home all right, then. Yeah. Uh, hello. What's up with you two? What's up with us two? We had to push the bike five miles home. Well, why don't you take it to a garage and get it fixed? Because you had the handlebars, didn't you? <laughs> Imagine leaving me sitting there all on me over with me head stuck out in the air looking like a twit. You don't have to have your hand stuck out in mid-air to look a twit. Besides, we had it arranged. If anything went wrong, you was to blow on the uter. Now then, what happened? The uter was on the handlebars. <laughs> Where are they? Well, that's it. Uh... That's, uh, that's something I've got to tell you. You see, uh, the, the, uh, the inspector a man, found a man on the back of the bus and, uh, well, he's compounded them until somebody uh, comes and collects them. That's he. Yeah. Right. Well, I shall go and claim them then, mate. Don't you hey. dare. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm telling you, mate, don't you go down that garage. Blimey, if he thinks I've towed your bike on the back of my bus, I'll get the bullet. I can't help that, mate. You have broken my handlebars off. I intend to go and get them. You get out of the way. Now, no, uh, no, listen. No, 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I didn't mind what I say. You do somebody a favour and they want to go to the garage and put the boot in for Is you. Is that what it was? Was it a favour you oh, did me? You broke was. the handlebars off my butt. I'm going to get them. Now, no, get mate, up. You get down that garage, mate. I'll break more than you, that. You and who else? Me by myself. I'll flatten you, mate. Only when minutes, you're please. driving your bus. <laughs> 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 Mate, you I was mean you were lucky, well, boy. <laughs> I'm led to believe that a set of handlebars that cost a fiver. No, either you hand over a fiver <laughs> or I go and see that inspector of yours. Oh. That's blackmail. <laughs> that is blackmail! You're quite right. Hand it over. <laughs> Got no alternative, have I? No, uh, you haven't. You're all right and you are. Well, I'll have you know this. This happens to be my last fiver. Rotten thing. I was going to take a bird out with that tonight. You'll have me in tears, mate. Anyway, keep me out of mischief. Never mind about the bird. You strip down my gearbox instead. <laughs> I should go get the other bars. Hey, marvellous. You help somebody? And what do you get? Nothing but frustration. Oh, really? Ruddy bike. What do you want to buy the blasted thing for? <laughs>
On the buses, self-defence. Production number 0278, date recorded 29th 5th, 69, part one, take one. You want me to wait here all night, do you? You were due back to 10.37. I've got an home to go to, you know. Listen, mate, don't you start. Blimey, I've had a belly full, mate. I'm not joking. Every Saturday night it's the same, ain't it? Football crowd and pub nights. Yes, yes. We know all about your moaning, butler. We all have to put up with these Saturday night louts, you know. Oh, what are you talking about? You have to put up with what? You stay here safe while we battle our way back home again. Another thing, we don't need any more of these posters on these buses late at night. You see? Is that bikini bit that gets the hooligans going? Well, what did they want to do the likes of that for, for God's sake? Well, they wanted to see what was underneath, didn't they? <laughs> well, why don't you get out and stop them, then? I did. That's when I copped this lot. Watch it. <laughs> well, they tried to find out what you had on underneath today. <laughs> tried to defrock you. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a very exposed position when you're getting out of that cab, mate. Very vulnerable. Here you are. Look at that. Yes, we'll put in a claim for it, then. Right. Hey, what? where's your windscreen wiper gone? They nicked it. <laughs> Good God in heaven. Whatever did they intend to do with that? Well, look at my pocket and I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> oh, oh yes. uh, I'll have to make out a report about this now, mate. Oh. <laughs> What's up with you, then? Oh, blimey. What a journey. That's the worst yet. Oh, you're stuck on your ticket up there, Papa Gorsak. What's all that, then? I didn't stuff him up there. One of the passengers did it when I had the nerve to ask for this fare. It's a good job my ticket machine was fastened round my neck or he'd have stuffed that up there as well. You should have given him a good punch on the nose, mate. I couldn't, cos he was sharpening his razor on me strap. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a bloody awful night. Look what they wrote on the bus. <laughs> Queen's Park Rangers are a lot of... Not of what? The other words on the back of the bus. <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'd better get that washed off before the clippers see it. You're too late, mate. Here they come. Look. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that, love. It's uh, just written there by some ignorant lout. Yeah, you're right, mate. And they don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of little bits there, nice, Stan. Oi, oi, oi. Come back, you two. What? I've got to make out a report about this. Yeah. Better get that washed off right away. Don't worry about washing that off, mate, I tell you. You want to wash that off? <coughs> What's that? It's only our end, isn't it? Yeah, you haven't seen what's attached to it. <laughs> Go on, this thing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's a naked woman. You've got an amazing memory. <laughs> Open them doors quick. I like that, Jack. I wish we could fold our woman up like that and put them away. <laughs> well, this is absolutely disgusting. They must have been a violent lot you had on here. You must be joking, mate. I tell you what, we need protection. This is quite right. We're not taking any more buses out after nine o'clock on a Saturday night, are we, Jack? No. Well, you've been brief what to do. The slightest sign of trouble, go to the nearest telephone box and get the police. I didn't have to, mate. They got it for me. <laughs> here. I'm afraid you'll have to stay and make out a full report with me. 
Oh, blimey, that'll take hours. I'm supposed to pick up the fish and chips and waiting for them at home. That's all right, mate, that's your pitching. Anyway, you had trouble on the bus, right? Yeah. <coughs> what you needed was a show of authority on that bus, mate. You need me, you needed me on that bus. Oh, blimey. <laughs> I must say one thing. We might get a load of scum on a Saturday night, but we never get any inspectors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here he is at last. About time too, I'm famished. Ah. <coughs> oh, Stan, you're an hour late. Are you all right, love? Yeah, of course I am. Well, where the devil have you been then? We've been worried to death, haven't we, Arthur? Not particularly. <laughs> Dad, where are the fish and chips? I couldn't get them. I was too late. You? Why? Because I had a punch up with some hooligans, that's why. There you are. I told you something had happened when he didn't come in with the supper. We were worried to death. Yeah, didn't know whether to phone the police or open a tin of corned beef. <laughs> Thank you very much. They were a load of hooligans. A rough mob, I'm telling you. Oh, don't give me that. You've been delayed through mucking around with them clippies again. <laughs> clippies? Look at this, mate. They're scratches, boy. I'll tell you something here, Mum. Watch this. <laughs> Look, that's my shirt all the time. Do you think the clippy did that? Well, you never know your luck. I think it's terrible. Look at his trousers. Yeah, what are we going to eat? They're all torn, his trousers, at the back. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. They should put real men on those last buses. I mean, there's only one way to deal with a mob, mate, and that is to face them. I did. Judging by the turn your trousers, we can all tell which way you were facing. <laughs> I know you want an umbrella, love. You can do a lot of danger with an umbrella. <laughs> Very good for defending yourself. Yeah, Mum always used to make, make me carry one so as I could defend my honour. <laughs> Did she ever use it? Only when it rained. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Something's got to be done. Do you know what, Mum? Oh. One bloke got hold of my head and he bashed it up against the bus. Oh. Well, I can tell you something, mate. He certainly wouldn't have done that to me. He couldn't. You've got nothing there to grab hold of. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that going thin on top is a sign of male virility. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> yeah, well, you do need certain other requirements. Well, I think it's dreadful. My stand might have been hurt. Thanks, Mum. You are right. Well, they've got to do something. Yeah. They can't live on your sick pay. A <laughs> lot of hooligans. Yeah, well, there's a lot of violence about nowadays, my friend. Well, fit. if you ask me, it's the pill that's causing it. <laughs> what a lot of rot you two talk. Oh, blimey, <laughs> mum, that's daft. Well, no. If it wasn't for the pill, <laughs> half these lights would be at home changing nappies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think your bus company should do something about it. What? About the pill? No, about the pill. <laughs> I mean, we can't have this every Saturday night, never knowing whether or not we're going to get our fish and chips. Don't you worry, Arthur. The union's taking it up. They're doing something about it, mate, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's a joke. Your union can't even protect you from the government. Well, if they don't, we'll all come out on unofficial strike. Oh, Stan, you can't do that. Why? Well, Barbara Castle might come along and take our furniture away. <laughs> got a charming family, haven't I? Well, I expect something to be done about it. Well, I'm sorry, loves. It's corned beef and cocoa. Oh. Go on, love, help the tin. Oh, let's forget the corned beef. Let's just have some cocoa. No food? Oh, Arthur, I shall need something to put me to sleep. Aye. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps you're right. Better open the corned beef, will not we? <laughs> On second thought, you'll get the tea, mate. Hello, darlings. I see you've kept us a couple of seats, eh? How's it going in love, all right? Oh, do you know yet? Still got two weeks training before they pass us out. I'll tell you what, one night out with us and you'll get your diploma in half hour. <laughs> yeah, mind you, you could lose your good conduct medal. Oh, no, I won't, mate. I'll keep it under lock and key. Yeah. <laughs> How about, uh, how about us four going out tonight, then, eh? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll have to think it over. Come on, Joyce, let's get some plans. Oh, blimey, mate. I reckon we're flogging the dead horse here, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. That blonde bitch crazy about me. <laughs> Unless she doesn't know it yet, that's all. <laughs> Get out of way. Right, pay attention now. <coughs> right, hang on. Official notice here from the office. Hang on. The Fuhrer talks. <laughs> Oi, Blakey. Uh, what the management done about this hooliganism thing on the Saturday night, you know? It's all up there on the notice, mate. The management, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that in view of the tax on the private person of the busman, 
They're going to be trying to defend themselves. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah, what do you say, Jack? Uh, hey, listen to this, fellas. All those wishing to avail themselves of a series of lessons in judo and karate should sign below. These will be given by a qualified expert. Who's that? That's me. <laughs> you? It just so happens, mate, I've made a deep study of the subject. I train men in the army in unarmed combat. Well, it will leave me out, mate, because I don't believe in violence. Since when? Since last Saturday night when that lout kicked me up the gearbox. <laughs> My motto is make love, not war. Well, I tell you, it won't get me rolling about on our floor, break me neck. That's all right, mate. We're going to have a nice soft mattress down here. That's all right. You won't get none of the lads to sign that, you know. That's a typical managerial trick, isn't it? Here, here. Let's have a cup of tea, Jack. Come on. Just a cup of tea. Hey, those two birds are signing it. Yeah, well, uh, I think I'll shove me Monica down and all. I wouldn't mind rolling about on a mattress with them two. <laughs> I ain't rolling about in a Boston cram. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Ian. It's half past five. Where's the fighting inspector? The wizard of self-defence. He's late. <laughs> Probably got done up on his way here. Yeah. Well, give us a bit more time to chat up the birds, eh? Yeah, all right. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, look, it's, uh, it's got to be thirsty work, all this self-defence lot. So, uh, what about coming out for a drink after this? Well, I mean, we don't know much about you two, do we? Oh, come <laughs> off. It stands the best bloke on the buses, hasn't you? Yeah. He always stops when requested. <laughs> Just stick your hand up. <laughs> The only trouble is I can't see in the dark. Oh, <laughs> well, what about it then? Come on. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. Oh, look, here comes the inspector. Oh, back time to. Get off that man. Hey, get off that man. Oh, Come on. All oh, right, all right. <laughs> get off. <laughs> we'll gather round now. We'll make a quick start. <laughs> He's got his pyjamas on. <laughs> Come on. All get round here. Nice big semicircle round here, please. <laughs> Sorry, love. Sit down there. Please. No, I'll get out of the way. I'll All down, down on your ankles. Yeah, yeah. Right. Nice and comfortable. And pay attention now. Now then. The quickest way of teaching, uh, teaching uh, self-defence is a method of karate known as atomai. What's that? Then? That's Japanese, mate. Yeah, no, mate. It's showing off now. What do you mean? And how do you know? Well, I did tell you I made a deep study, study of this subject, mate. Where do you think I got that black belt from? You cut the suspenders off, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got those on underneath. <laughs> now then. Now, I brought along a chart here to show you the more sensitive parts of the human body. Right? I've got copies of it over there on the table. You can all take one of them when you go and study them at your own convenience. Yeah, just a minute. Is that a man or a woman? <laughs> now, what... What possible difference can that make? Oh, blimey, you've led a sheltered life, haven't you? <laughs> now, pay attention now. Now, I want you to imagine that this is one of them ignorant louts coming at you on the late bus. Oh, and that's daft. I mean, if he walked about like that, he'd be had up for indecent exposure. <laughs> Not that one, wouldn't he? He's got nothing to expose. <laughs> the basic theory of karate is that you apply the maximum pressure to any one of these sensitive points, right? The atomite. And you do this with the edge of your hand, known as the shuto, otherwise known as the chop, right? Otto! 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 <laughs> right. It's no use at all going like this or like this, right? Not unless you're swatting flies. <laughs> all get up and form a circle around the edge of the mat, will you? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a little demonstration now. Get in a circle, mate. Right. Butler, hey. you come over here, mate. Who, me? What for? You're going to be the demonstration. Oh. Right then. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a chop with my shooto yeah. that you're at, am I? I'm going to try and find it, right? Yeah. Not if I find yours first. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Yeah. I'm going to give you a light chop now yeah, on yeah. your carteroid artery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's number five on the chart over there, right? Right, right, right. Oh, so, oh, no. <laughs> now, you see, I was holding myself back then. Otherwise, I might very easily kill my opponent. Unless, of course, unless, of course, the temptation proves too much. <laughs> right. Now then, you have a try, right? Yeah. Now, imagine, imagine I'm one of them great big ignorant louts coming at you. Well, that's easy for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Make a chop at my hat, my yeah. ear, ear, all there, right? Sensory spots. Right. right. <laughs> well, I mean, it hurts. <laughs> That's because you're doing it all wrong, mate. Thank yeah. Can anyone tell me what he's doing wrong? No. He's giving himself away with his eyes, mate. I can tell what you're going to do by your eyes. Yeah. And if they're bloodshot, he's done it. <laughs> now, shut up, Jack. Just a minute. What did you mean by me giving myself away with my eyes, Gordon? Well, your eyes are looking straight at the place you're going to strike at every time. Oh. Can we have another go, then? All right. Right. You ready, then? Okay. Right. <laughs> no, no. No, no. no wait. That was cheating, mate. <laughs> he was looking in two places at the same time. That's a little trick I picked up snogging in the park. <laughs> yes, well, there's, uh, there's various other methods of self-defence, but I'll get to them presently. <laughs> now, in the meantime, I'd like to see what some of you others would do if you were attacked. Oi, oi, where are you off to then? Blimey, you have to put me hand up, mate. I've drunk a lot of tea waiting for you, you know. <laughs> yes, well... We can't all wait till he comes back, can we? Now, in the meantime, I'd like to see what some of you young ladies would do if you were attacked. Can anyone like to uh, volunteer out of you? Like? Oh, thank you very much, miss. Very kind of you. Any, any fella like to come and... Yes? Yeah, I'll force myself, yeah. yeah. Get out of the corner. I'll be here first. That's the right one. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do, miss, is try and seek out for one of his sensitive points, right? Yeah, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Have a go at it with your shooter. Yeah, all right. Right. Turn! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I wasn't ready. That's... Turn! Come on! Oh, yeah. No, no, no! Oh, that's absolutely lovely. I couldn't have done better than that myself. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. She's a karate expert. Oh, I've never done karate in my life. But I did do five years of judo. Only five years? Blimey, you were a quick learner. <laughs> <laughs> That's not only much. Uh, fellas, I feel a lot better now. What's going on? What's happening? Well, uh, this young lady here has been very kindly showing us what she'd do if she was attacked. Oh, yeah? I, uh, I don't suppose you'd like to come and try and attack her, would you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. What's your plan? Go on, stand boy. No, look, no, look, I don't want to hurt you, OK? Oh, no, it's all right, it's all right. So if I do, you start yelling. I'll yeah, soon pack it right, in, right? right. I'll right. play the white man. Right. right. Now, what I want you to do yeah. is make a grab for her, right? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> I think we're all going to enjoy this. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm going to grab for you, love. Right. I'll tell you I'm coming. Here we go. Right. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now, now, this is a Japanese stranglehold. Now, it's very potent. Uh, apart from the choking effect, it could very easily break his opponent's neck with this. Now, now, miss, if he tries to hit or strike you in any way, a sharp quickening of the pressure is sufficient to stop him. Oh, God! <laughs> Permanently. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Oh. That was a My Gary kick. My Gary Kiagri. A sweeping ankle. Very nice, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And that was a head mare. A perfect head mare. Oh, I, I have enjoyed that. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that. It was absolutely lovely. All right, then, we'll have a break for five minutes for tea now and we'll come back and have another go afterwards, right? <laughs> oh, blood. God, blimey, Jack, what happened now, mate? It's all right, you didn't hurt her. Oh, good. <laughs> I've had enough of this, mate. I'm going out for a rest. I don't know about you. <laughs> you coming? No, I still reckon we got a chance with those birds. You must be out of your mind, mate. We never take liberties with them. No, but with a bit of luck, they might take liberties with us. <laughs> oh, blimey, I haven't even got the strength for that, mate. Come on. Oh, where's my shoe? Over there. Right, here. Yeah. Don't forget your chart. What chart? Oh, that chart, yeah. I'll see you later on, did you? Yeah. <laughs>
get back here, Mum. Look. Oh, I Thanks, say. Oh, you have got a nasty bump there, yeah. love. Mm. Oh, I'll put a cold compress ah, on that. Sorry, I wouldn't bother about no, it. No, I much. will. I'll put it on. Yeah. It'll be better for you. Oh, just when you go! Oh, what? Is it hurting? No, the cold water's run all down my back. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Evening, Evening, Mum. Hello, Evening, Mum. Hello, Evening, Mum. What's up with you? You had them old woody eyes on your bus again? No, he's been having a lesson in self-defence. <laughs> self-defence? You'd have been better off with the hooligans so only tore your trousers. <laughs> nah, we uh, had a lesson in karate. Our inspector's a bit of an expert at it. Look, Arthur, Stan brought home a chart on karate. Did you know I had 18 sensitive points on my body? <laughs> God, so I've ever noticed. Well, they're all marked there. A ten I put. What a load of codswallop. That's not codswallop, mate. If you study that chart properly, Blimey, you could kill people. Yes, they made it easy. Like painting by numbers. <laughs> I'll see if some lout comes here, give him a good punch up his number four. <laughs> and if that don't work, you slash him in his number seven. And if that don't work, you knee him up his number nine. <laughs> then you have legs eleven, shout full house and bingo. <laughs> oh, I really ought to study this chart. What nerve for? Well, you never know, Arthur. It might come in useful some nights. Aye. <laughs> well, I could defend myself if a man jumped out of the bushes at me on a dark night. Have to be a pretty dark night. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. Stan, stick up for your sister. Wouldn't have to be a dark night, would it? Not necessary. <laughs> a foggy one would do. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I was only joking, love. No. Does this really work? No, it's a load of twaddle. It's not twaddle! I'll show you, Olive. It's like what that bloke 007 down, you know, in the James Bond pictures, you know. Now, you put your thumb in there like that because it makes it tougher, is it, there? See? Yeah. That's called a shoot-o. You see? Now you go... Hustle! Oh, oh. <laughs> Never mind. What the life that in it, Mum, see? Oh, no, 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 that's what it's supposed to do. Put the wind up, you see? Now, these are little vital spots here, see? Yeah. Now, don't look at me like that, Arthur. You're always scoffing, and you? Come out here, love. Come here, love. Now, I'll show you what it is. Now, these are my two sensitive spots here, you see? Yeah. Now, you attack me there, no, see? Now, be right. careful. She might hurt you. No, no, no. The inspector taught me to parry all blows on how to stop everything. Oh, right, where you go? Go on. <laughs> that's what I mean. I tell you what I mean, is. doesn't it? Is. Now, <laughs> now, now she... She, no, she always loses her temper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's dead right, isn't he? He does work. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting you? Uh, no, I've uh, fixed up a date for him. We're on to a good thing. Couple of little ravers. Oh. Uh, come in, darlings. Oh, this is uh, Stan's brother in law, Arthur, Joyce, Liz. Hello. How'd you do? They're very nice, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you'll find Stan in the kitchen. Yeah, all right. Shall be a minute, darlings. I'll have a look after you. Do you uh, live round here, do you? Uh, Jack, Blum, what are you doing sitting there with your feet up having a kick? Come on, I've got the birds lined up. Come on, stop. Oh, get out! <laughs> Use your loaf, mate, will you? Look, look. What have you done to yourself? Oh, practising that judo, I fell awkwardly. I twisted my ankle and I dislocated my shoulder. Oh, is that all? Now, come on, I've got, I've got the birds lined up. Joyce and Liz are outside. Come on. They're right, ready to go. You mean you've got me in the hall now? Yeah. You? Oh, I've got to have a go at that, and I've got to try it. Look at that. Oh! Oh, that's it. If I miss you. Oh, God almighty, no. I can't do it, I can't do it. Can't oh, do it. come on, make the effort. Think of the birds. Look, with my ankle like that and my shoulder like this, the rest of me's no good anyway. <laughs> oh, well, that's that then. I'll just have to try and find some other bloke who's got the evening free. Oh, well, well. Since you mention it, I wonder if, uh, Arthur, you oh. must come and help me get the washing in. My chill blades are playing me up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what was that you were saying, Arthur? <laughs> Nothing. I was, uh, just having a dream. <laughs> come in, sunshine. Oh, well, better get going. I'll tell you all about it in the morning. Jack. Oh, I think I'll take the chart, just in case he's forgotten where my sensitive points are. <laughs> <laughs>
on the buses, number four, part one, production number 0279, take one. Good afternoon, Mrs. Butler. Good afternoon, Hello. Inspector. Uh, can you tell me, is my stand driving the number 11 that's due in now? Undoubtedly, Mrs. Butler. That's the one that's ten minutes late. Oh, yes, it would be, because the 3.45 from Tilbury Zorb was a bit late. The number 11 bus, madam, it doesn't go to Tilbury. It goes to the Seventh Gate and back. I know, but Stan's waiting in the station to meet his auntie Maud. Yes, yeah, she's come to stay with us. And Stan said he'd meet at the station if her train wasn't more than half an hour late. Did he? I'll make a note of that. Oh, he's very obliging, my Stan. Yes. I'll see the general manager gets to hear about that. Oh, you're very kind. Not all inspectors are like that, my Stan says. No, no, there's one they call Hitler. Stan says he's a real bastard. <laughs> That's it. Where's that bus? Is that the one that's coming in now? Yes, that's the one. It'll back in here and back right up there. Why do they always back in? Saves them backing out. Shocking journey. Hello, Auntie. Hello, love. Have you said hello to Stan? No, not yet. Come here, love. Have you given Aunt a kiss yet? No, not yet, Mum. I was it. Butler! Oh, uh, I'd like a word with you, if I may. Come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. This is my nephew. I used to bath him. <laughs> there is a time I've had him on me knee and smothered his little bottom with powder. Fascinating, I'm sure. <laughs> Has he still got that little birthmark on his little bottish? I should ask the clippers about that if I were you. <laughs> uh, beg your pardon, Mrs Butler. No offence intended, oh. I'm sure. Well, have you got everything, Maud? Yes. Ow. Marcus. Marcus? Marcus. Who's Marcus? My doggy. Didn't I tell you I've got a little pet? No, you didn't. He's so nervous riding on the bus. Marcus, Marcus, come on to Mummy, come on. He won't come off. Oh, oh, oh Olive, go and see if you can get him off. Oh, She's yeah. ever so good with little doggies. Yes, come on, Marcus. Yes, that's right. Come on, Mum. Let's see. Who let that creature on the bus? Where's your conductor? Uh, well, he was on when we got left the depot. <laughs> Jack, you were right there. I am not coming down till that animal's under control. Yeah, I'll be daft. He won't hurt you. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my darling, he's all control right. Come to my Friend. <laughs> it's all right for you, mate. You're sitting up front. I shall have to make a note of this. Where's your way, Bill? Here. Yeah. The rest of it's inside him. <laughs> to play with, did you? Play with? 
Look what he's done to me pouch. <laughs> First me way, Bill, then me pouch. It was getting too close for comfort, so I went upstairs. You shouldn't have let him on the bus in the first place. He didn't let him on. He got on. <laughs> oh, but you never said you had a vicious pet like this. You should have said. He's only a little pet. He's not like this normally. He upset him. He wouldn't let him get on the seat. Because at the time, there happened to be two people sitting on it. <laughs> he went for me, tried to bite me, and I only smiled at him. <laughs> I'm not surprised with your choppers, mate. <laughs> he thought he was going to bite him. <laughs> come on, get that creature off the bus, come on. There's no time to waste now. Come on, Ollie, give him off. Give him off, Ollie. Come on, come on. Oh, don't be silly. You don't know how to do it. Come on, I'll tell you. You're going to have to show him. Come on, boy. Come on, good boy. Hey, you've got to see that who's the boss, you see. Let's <laughs> Lovely, Lily dragged me in the side. Yeah, he's probably feeling angry again. Come on. Come on, love. Oh, he won't come any further. Oh, 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 It's no use using brute force to get him off the bus. Use a bit of logic, for God's sake. <laughs> Give him something to get off for. A tomcat to get him off. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, shout as though you've been doctored. <laughs> isn't it marvellous? Any minute now, he'd be down on all fours digging holes. Quit. That won't get him off. He's afraid of cats. I know what's wrong. It's afraid of him. Afraid of me? Oh, oh no, no. Not the inspector. Yes, he was once kicked by a man with a little black moustache, just like he's got, so he thinks this man's cruel and nasty. Very clever dog. <laughs> oh, sir. Perhaps if you went and eat, he might get off. Went and eat? Yes. Preposterous. <laughs> However, if the dog's as daft as all that, I suppose I'd better go and hide. <laughs> oh, oh, you there. Oh. The minute the inspector's gone, he's all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, See oh, you later, then, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> that is marvellous, isn't it? The minute the inspector goes, everybody's all right. <laughs> get down, you idiot. What are you doing up there? <laughs> It's a good job I had that bit of liver in the cupboard. I don't know what I'd give Marcus. Oh, you know, he's too big a dog to have in the house. Olive, love, go and take him outside. There's a good girl. Oh, I'll put him oh, in the hall. Yes, go and stay. Come yeah, on, put Marcus. him in the hall. That's right, love. Come on. Oh, what a size. Yeah, where's her husband tonight? He's very late. Well, he always is on a Friday night, and he doesn't get it while past ten. Oh, I think it's terrible them working them so late. No, not really. Eh? Well, if Arthur had been here, the dog wouldn't have had his liver. Oh, <laughs> Oh, there's your husband now, Olive. Get, hey, get down! Get off, will you? Leave go! <laughs> <laughs> Who put that great big brute out there? She did. Well, she might have turned the light on. <coughs> Open the front door. He put his paws right up in my shoulder, started licking my face. I thought it was Olive gone berserk. <laughs> Kiss. No, thank you. I've had enough off the dog. <laughs> Whose is it? Aunt Maud's. Aunt Maud? Oh, she's arrived, has she? Mm. Where is she? Upstairs unpacking. Oh. Here, yeah, that smells good. My liver, is it? I'll have that now. <laughs> You've had it. Anyway, <laughs> You've had it, cos the dog's had it. <laughs> you give my liver to that dog? Well, we had to give it something, love. Olive, go in the kitchen and get some cheese and pickled onions. Yes, all right. Charming, isn't it? Hey, I was looking forward to that liver. Never even got a taste of it. You must have done when he jumped up and licked you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did that aunt of yours want to bring that great big brute here for anyway? She must be out of her mind, that stupid old bag. Hello, oh, that... no, oh, no. oh, Hello, Aunt Maud. How nice to see you. <laughs> oh, that'll come down with me, Bottle. It's in the kitchen, love. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Hey. Go. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm first a dog now, her. It's like a Roman orgy. <laughs> Here you are, Arthur. Cheese and pickled onions. There's not much cheese you'll have to fill up with Thank pickled you. onions. You bring them in for me or yourself. <laughs> I haven't seen you since the day you and Olive got married. Mm. It doesn't seem like nine years. Does to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, Olive's put on a bit round the middle. Yeah. I didn't notice it when you got your coat on. Of course, they have been married long enough, haven't they? Mm. Is she, you know? No, she is not. <laughs> She's just greedy. Nine years. 
Didn't he have to have an operation? <laughs> yes, seven years ago. Hasn't done no good. That has got nothing to do with it. Perhaps you should have another operation. <laughs> <laughs> you don't shut up, mate. You'll need one. Funny Stan hasn't got married, isn't it? Hey? Isn't he courting? Oh, I don't know. He goes out with Jack most nights, his conductor. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, oh? Well, I hope he's not going to turn out like Uncle Herbert. Oh, Maud, shut up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. What is about Uncle Herbert? Why shouldn't I turn out well, like Uncle Herbert? Well, it's something we don't talk about, love. Oh, no. come on, come on. No, I want to know. Well, it's very... It's, well, it's just that he was, um... <laughs> but it's all right now, cos it's legal. <laughs> I mean, what a family I've married into. Good job we haven't got any children. Oh, they wouldn't be like Stan, they'd be like me. Well, that's a great comfort, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think I'll go to bed. Oh, will you be all right in Stan's room, love? Oh, yes. It's ever so nice of Stan to give his room up for me. Yeah. I thought that Marcus could sleep outside in the shed. Go and get him, Olive. He oh, right, I mean. can't. What? He'll catch his death. He's ever so delicate. I noticed that the way he dragged me on the bus. <laughs> Marcus is used to bedding down on the sofa. Otherwise, he'd be yelling all night long. No. You'd have to go in the front room. Oh. Look, I'm sleeping on the sofa in the front room. Well, I'm sure you'll both be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I've felt that. Marcus would have to go on the sofa, otherwise we'd all be up all night. Look, aunt, we love having uh, you here, uh, but oh, I'm no, sorry. No, I'm not having you here. Olive, come in with me. Stan, sleep with Arthur. Hey. I am not sleeping with him, but that's fine. <laughs> you're not, I'm not particularly about sleeping with you, mate. And the way you're noshing oh. back them pickled onions, boy, I'd rather sleep with a dog anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it, child. Come on, come on. I want to get some sleep. Get over the other side. Go on. I've warmed that side now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do not require your heat. <laughs> oh, I'll call it off again no, for you. No, don't be so <laughs> <sorry. laughs> <laughs> 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 Blimey, you're all right, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> I feel like I'm sleeping in a hole. <laughs> yeah, that's where Olive sleeps. <laughs> well, if you want to get this mattress fixed, blimey, I'm surprised you don't get stuck in it. No, thank you very much. I don't want to roll in over my side. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Uncomfortable, I know that. It's no good, mate. I can't sleep that side. Oh, blimey. Look, mate, I am sleeping here. I have slept this side for nine, nine years and Olive has slept that side for nine years. So there you that sounds like the Berlin Wall. <laughs> I suppose you do meet at times for Checkpoint Charlie. Ouch. <laughs> you can either sleep there or find somewhere else to sleep. Oh, all right then. <clears throat> oh! Oh! What's the matter? <laughs> oh, what have you got in the bottom of this bed? Like a ruddy mousetrap or something? Go on! Go on, look at that! <laughs> Oh. You're likely to find anything down there, mate. I don't think Ollie's ever made her bed. She just pulls her big clothes up. Side. What's the matter now? Cos I always sleep on my right side. What, so? So? I'll never get to sleep looking at your clock, will I? <laughs> no, 
Blimey, stupid, you won't see me in the dark, will you? Blimey, I'll smell you, know. <laughs> You're breathing pickled onions all over me. Go on. Face the other way. All right, then. With Olive, I always sleep facing a door anyway. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Hey! <laughs> Your toenails! What's wrong with them? I mean, mate, get them, get them like shark's teeth. You're supposed to cut them, not sharpen them. <laughs> I'll sleep with my socks on if you like. I thought you always did. Ah, shut up. Where's the nail scissors? I expect they're at the bottom of the bed with a load of rather uh, rubbish. God blimey, your breath, mate. <laughs> I'm not having my toenails cut unless you suck a peppermint. <laughs> Well, I can't find a nail scissors anyway. You just keep your feet out of the way, that's all right. Let's have some sleep. Oh, no. Yes! I lost my cock wall, <laughs> That is not all you've lost. Did you always put that stuff on your face? Yeah, it's supposed to make me look prettier. It does. You should use it more often. <laughs> and say things like that to me. Because I never think of them first. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there they are. How did they get under the bed? I don't know, mate. You must have pushed them out the bottom. If you made the bed a bit more often, you'd find loads of things down here. Oh. Now, come on, let's get some sleep, for goodness sake. <laughs> Turn the light out. Hey. What? Turn the light out. You put it out, you got in last. Oh, don't be stupid. The light is your side. Olive always switching it off. We'll get Olive in to put it out then. Oh. <laughs> God blimey, your feet are freezing! Oh. <laughs> Do you always go to bed with all that muck on your face and them curlers in your hair? Yeah. What? In front of Arthur? Yeah, why? Blimey, no wonder I'm not a grandmother. <laughs> Arthur doesn't mind. Oh, I forgot to kiss him goodnight. Oh, <laughs> don't go to him, love. Let him come to you. Men only like what they have to put themselves out for. <laughs> I don't think he'll come. <laughs> no. I know my Arthur. If I don't kiss him goodnight, he won't be able to sleep. <laughs> your hand out of it. I'm not Olive. <laughs> Turn over, Arthur. Turn over. Turn, you're snoring. Turn over. <laughs> Turn over. <coughs> Stop snoring. Come on, bloody. Turn over, will you? <laughs> You sound like a stuffed pig! <laughs> I do not snore! You do snore! No, I me, mean, I've never heard anything like it since the silence that fell off me bus! <laughs> you should hear you, mate, you go. There's no need to run him and exaggerate. It's not ruddy exaggerating, mate. And then it's. No, no, no. Oh, holly, holly, holly. Your hands all over me, mate. Oh, 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 get in big, give me some clothes. Oh, and turn over on your side! <laughs> <laughs> Lally, we're back in the pickled onions now. Oh, right. I'll sleep on my back and you can lump it. And if you don't want to lump it, find someone else to sleep. I will. I'm going to have a kip in the kitchen. All right, good. <laughs> I'm fed up with it. And don't tell me you've never shared a bed with anyone who snored. I have, but last time it was worthwhile. <laughs> Oh, what is it? I can't sleep. So? Where's Dan gone? He's gone down the kitchen. It's ruddy cold down there. If I know him, he'll be up in a minute. Oh, well, I've got this ache in me neck. I want you to rub it with memento green ointment. I left the box here somewhere. Oh, 
harm even the fire's gone out. It's freezing cold down here. I suppose I'll have to put up with him. I can't stand this. <laughs> Will you rub it in? No! <laughs> oh, come on, Arthur. I shan't be able to sleep unless you do. No, I'm too tired. <laughs> Blimey, she didn't waste much time. <laughs> no, not this time of night. Oh, you are rotten. You weren't like this when we were first married. <laughs> oh, all right, come on then. <laughs> Just a minute. I'll have to put the dressing gown down. <laughs> come on, we'll be up in a minute. God blimey, once a year and it has to beat the night. Hello, darling. Come on in, snow out of it. Got another turn to do. Yeah, I know that. God damn it, darling. I've got a stiff neck. God, I was up all night, freezing cold in that flipping chair in the kitchen. Oh dear, oh dear. Here, give me a neck a rub, will you, mate? Oh, that's lovely. Of course, you've got lovely strong fingers, Jack. Yeah, counts and count in the coppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, more, more, more. That's lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. oh thank God Aunt Maud's going today, I tell you that. Oh, dear, dear. I couldn't stay another night out of my bed, you know. How are they getting to the station? By cab. Oh, right. I told them. Never get the dog on the bus. Sure, right, mate. <laughs> 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 I think you two have been working together a bit too long, don't you? <laughs> What's the matter? You want a bit? <laughs> well, you must admit it does look a bit peculiar, doesn't it? <laughs> look, mate, I may be doing it to him, but I'm thinking of her. <laughs> Can't we ever let our minds rise to higher things? Come on, cut it out. Come on. Get on that bus and get it out. Come on. Try and get it out on time this time, oh, will you? All right, all right. Keep the voice down. Oh, that's great, that is, Jack. I must admit, that's done a lot of good to my neck. Yeah, it? I know. I done it to her once, you know. After the social. Yeah. What happened? Her husband hit me. <laughs> Wait right, for me, love. Wait. Has she gone? Has she gone? Look oh, at me, come on. What's up? Didn't the, didn't the cab come then? Oh, yes, the cab came, took one look at the dog and went. Without us. Oh, he was terrible. He said we should have ordered an horse box. <laughs> what were you doing here anyway? Well, Aunt Maud will have to go to the station on the bus. Not yes. with that animal. <laughs> it wouldn't be our... Well, Mum, if the expected says get the dog, we get our cards. Well, how's she going to get to the station? It's three miles. Oh, put a saddle on the dog and ride it there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let her get another cab and catch another train. Oh, but she can't. There's only one through train a day. Oh, well, there's only one thing for it, love. You'll have to stay another night. Oh, I what? don't mind. Oh, I've got your bed clothes uh, all nice and warm. Mum, forget it, forget it. Aunt, get on the bus. Get on the bus. Get it, It's all right for you, mate. Sitting up there out of arm's way, I am not having that dog nibbling at my pouch. Yeah, it's only till we get it to the station, mate. I'm not mate. having it. Look, my, my stiff neck. I think am I'm not, not having it. That's final. That's final. It only leaves one thing for me to do then, doesn't it?
On the Buses, Part 1, production number 0280, take 1. Going in for some afters, come on. <laughs> you are a naughty boy. And what? <laughs> you know you mustn't come in. Why not? It's three o'clock. You shouldn't have brought me home so late. Well, I got you here at ten o'clock. <laughs> you hanging up? Ten hours. You must go, love. You're on the early shift. Not till half past five. I'm in condition. I only need a couple of hours, Kip. Come to think of it, I only need one. Come on, listen. <laughs> oh, no. You'll be a good boy. Oh, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure. Sleep well. Yeah. Tell off, Dorian. Tell off. Cool. <laughs> It's not mine, it's Stan's. Hey? It... Oh, never mind. Wake up! Oh, Arthur. It's only five o'clock. Oh. Shall I take my curlers out? Well, I'm not trying to wake you, I'm trying to wake your brother. He switch his ruddy alarm off. I'll murder him getting me up this time of morning. Wake up! Wake up, will you? Wake up. What's the matter with your bloody alarm? Hasn't gone off yet? <laughs> it's only woken the old household. Why do you put it so far away from your bed for? That's right against my wall. Well, that's a good idea, see that? When it goes off, then I have to get out of bed to turn it off. <laughs> you mean I have to get out of bed and turn it off? It's been going on for hours. <laughs> Blimey, I'm late then. Don't be dark, I couldn't find them. <laughs> you gone yet? Well, it's only five o'clock, Mum. Oh, dear. When I heard Arthur get up, I thought it was seven, so I got up and put me teeth in. <laughs> Here, what are you doing up two hours early? I got up to turn his alarm off. He got up so late he didn't hear it. Oh, Stan, when you're on an early shift, you should be in bed by ten o'clock. He probably was. Then he had to get out again and come home. <laughs> I don't like that kind of talk. And neither do I. Dory's not that sort of a girl. Anyway, I wasn't in all that late. What do you mean? Your socks are still warm. <laughs> I'm fed up with this. Having to get up early every morning just cos you're too tired to hear the alarm. Your sex life is wearing me out, mate. <laughs> What's the matter? You're jealous? Us. <laughs> it was all completely innocent, Tom. Yeah. Well, I do not think it right for a, for a girl to keep a man in her house till three o'clock in the morning. It is not proper. Oh, no, it's not proper. She wouldn't let me stay any longer. <laughs> now, shut up, let me get dressed. It's late. Where's my shirt? Here's your shirt, here's your shirt. That's a dirty love. one. I want a clean one. Oh, no, what a bit, love. I've got a lovely pull over here. Here you are, love. I washed it yesterday. Put that on. That'll do for you. He's always moaning, this bloke. Well, it's always the same, love. You come home, I don't know what time it's still. Never mind. Well, I don't. <laughs> What's the matter with this? Bye. <laughs> 
So, so I was robbing a bank. <laughs> Ooh, what's this big red mark you've got on your neck here, dear? Where? Big red mark there. Oh, uh, that's a... Uh, um, uh, it's a nap bite. Oh, right. <laughs> what did you say it was? It's a nap bite. Do you mind if I have a look? It's a nap bite. Nats do not have four front teeth and wear lipstick. <laughs> that is a bird bite. Shut Ooh, don't say that girl bitch, ya. Well, how would I know? It was in the dark. <laughs> well, it's not right. Girls didn't bite fellas in my day. I didn't have many teeth in your day. <laughs> uh, will you stop worrying about me, Mum? It's all right for you, mate. I've not got two hours to do nothing in. Uh, I suppose I should just have to go back to bed. <laughs> Keeping your place warm for you. Aren't you coming back? On certain thoughts, I think I'll go downstairs and have an early breakfast. Oh, aren't you coming to bed? He's frightened of getting bitten. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, Tino. No, 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 no. Morning, Jack. Oh, I just made it. You didn't make it. You're late. I had to sign you in. Oh, did you? Oh, thanks, mate. You've been with that Doreen bird again, haven't you? Look at her. She's wearing you out. That's three mornings on a trot you've been late. No, I didn't hear the alarm go off. Oh, what's the matter? Doreen forget to wind it up, did she? No, no, I went home. No, I didn't get home for free. She's killing you, you lucky blighter. <laughs> Now, look here, mate. There's nothing like that between me and her. Nothing? Well, when I say nothing, I mean Dory's not that... You, you can't rush it with her. Oh, what a load of bosh. I mean, take that new blonde bit in the office last week. I mean, I got crack in there within five minutes of her setting eyes on me. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> they must have trod on her glasses. <laughs> That's it. Blitzkrieg. Have you just arrived, have you? No, I've been here hours. I never saw you sign in. All right. Have a look. Have a look. <laughs> Your handwriting looks quite different this morning. Uh, yeah, that's because he borrowed my pen. <laughs> <laughs> Signed in at 5.15, did you? Yeah, I've been here about, uh, what, 20 minutes? <clears throat> well, I never saw you. Nobody saw you. Well, I should hope not. I was, uh, I was in the what's it? <laughs> what, 20 minutes in the bog? <laughs> Well, on behalf of the management, may I say greetings and welcome home on your safe return. <laughs> Get on that bus. Get on that bus, go on. The pair of you. Here. Don't forget we're on the 11A this morning. What's that? We're on the 11A. Do you know the route? Of course I know the route. I've done it enough times, haven't I? Love it if I do it with my eyes shut. The way you look this morning, you probably will. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. And, uh, Mum, got a clean shirt for me? Yes. I'll go straight out off the tea. Oh. Ever since you met that Doreen, you treat this place like a laundry out of a calf. You come in, grab your food, grab your washing, and straight out again. Oh, no, he uses my deodorant first. <laughs> and what time may we expect you in this evening? And what's that got to do with you? I'll tell you what it's got to do with me, mate. I'm not being woken up at five o'clock every morning just because you're too tired to hear your alarm. I need my sleep. I'll put in a hard day's work. <laughs> hard day's work, you? <laughs> Booking clerk on the British Rail. <laughs> you may scoff, mate. You may scoff. Have a cup of tea, anyway. Yes, have a cup now. What's my clock doing down here? It is remaining down here. If you got a bit of the decent hour, you wouldn't need one. I mean, listen to that. Trust you to buy a foreign clock. That's not foreign. Oh, yes, it sounded foreign to me. Here, play it again. <laughs> oh, yes, that's a foreign sound. That's not an English sound. It's not friendly. Made in Western Germany. Where'd you say that? Underneath the Union Jack, mate. <laughs> yeah, go it. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's typical of this uh, German efficiency, that is, mate. They make sure their workers get up and go to work on time, boy. Yeah. 
That's why they do so well. What a lot of rot you two talk. That's not rot, mate. I'm telling you something. Those fellas have got up, they've gone out, and they've bashed out two Volkswagens while you're still in bed scratching yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, I do not have to get up at five o'clock, and if you have to get up early, you might have consideration for other people and get to bed at a decent time. Yeah. When I do, you keep me awake all night long. Hey. What the hell do you get up to in your room, then? Nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't talk about you, love. <laughs> At sniffing and snorting, you do. I suppose you were referring to my deep breathing exercises. They happen to be highly beneficial. Deep breathing? What for? How'd you do that? To ensure a good night's sleep, mate. You inhale and exhale ten times through each nostril, thus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you packed up. There's a little draft coming through your ear holes. <laughs> yeah, well, it works, mate. You should try it. When my head hits that pillow, I get eight hours uninterrupted sleep, right, Olive? Yes, always. Nothing wakes him. Only his ruddy alarm. And I tell you something, mate. I need that clock to get me up in the morning. Now then, so shut up. Blimey, look at the time. I shall be late for Dory. Got my clean shirt, Mum? Yes, love. It's all over there. Right, I'll take that. Yes. And uh, I think I'll take my clean uh, pants and vest as well and put them on. <laughs> Vest. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Yesterday, he only took a clean shirt. Yeah. Well, I don't care what he gets up to outside these four walls. He is not waking me with that alarm clock again. Oh, you're not going to do anything to it, are you, lad? I mean, look at the size of his clangers. Oh. <laughs> you're not going to spoil Stan's clock. No, I'm just going to adjust it. Make oh. it a little quieter, a little bit more soothing. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> where the hell have you been? What do you mean, where have I been? In bed, of course. You've come from that bird again, haven't you? Look at you, straight from the nest. Your feathers are all rumpled. <laughs> oh, I haven't. I tell you, I've been in bed. Oh, Look. don't give me that. Look, I've still got my pyjamas on. <laughs> oh, it must be true. You wouldn't be wearing pyjamas if you'd been with a bird. Not unless you were dead fussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you saw me in? Yeah, I told the inspector you were in the loo. Ah, oh, great thinking, that mate. Good. Great thinking, yeah. yes, yes. Just one thing. What? Well, look. He is waiting for you to come out. He's been... Oh, God knows what he's thinking. You've been in there for over half an hour. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm going to sit down strike. <laughs> You've got to get in there so that he can see you come out. Now, nip up the side passage and climb through the back window of the loo. Oh, bloody, that's a bit risky, isn't it? Look, Stan, if he finds out that I've been signing you on, we'll both get the bullet. Yeah. Now, go on, don't hang about. Right. Here, and when you come out, act as though you've got the gut sake. The way I feel, I won't be acting. <laughs> uh, not come out yet, then, has he? The bloody knows he's doing in there, for God's sake. Well, I've had enough of this. I've had to sign on two relief crews already since he's been in there. Look, either he comes out and he goes sick, or he comes out and he goes to work. I've had enough of it. I'm going in to see what he's doing. Uh, hang about. As shop steward, I'm here to tell you, you are not allowed to go snooping around a men's convenience hounding employees. It's an affront against human dignity. He can't stay in here all the blooming morning, can he? I suppose you'd like to fit time clocks to all the doors, and he could stand out here with a stopwatch and do a time check. Stopwatch? The way he's going on, mate, you could do with a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> my face on Mr. Blake when that Stan Butler comes climbing in through the window. Butler, come out there at once. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? 
doing in it, for God's sake, man? It's a mistake, all a mistake, I'm telling you. There I was when I saw him in the mirror. Now, I've given me a nasty turn, I can tell you. And when I saw you in the mirror, it didn't do me any good either. <laughs> you cheeky lad. With men like him around, girl ain't safe anywhere. You are. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get, get on your bus, love. I'll, I'll handle him, all right? Go on. Look at you, mate. She's got to be serious, you know. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. God blimey, the way she carried on. I'm, I'm not one of them mad sex crackpots, you know. No. <laughs> What's that you got one? What's that you got on this here? Oh, uh, it's uh, uh, my pyjamas. <laughs> Are you kinky, butler? <laughs> Look, kinky, I'm not kinky. It's all quite innocent. Innocent? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Busman, caught. Climbing through window of Clippy's convenience, wearing pyjamas. <laughs> Wait till they read this, mate. You're not going to send that to the management, are you? No, the Sunday papers. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. I, 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 I climbed through the window and I, and I thought it was the men's loo. Well, you always come through the window, do you? No, only this morning, cos I was a little bit on the... <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm beginning to see what's happening now. You've signed him in, and you've climbed through that window because you're 40 minutes late, aren't you? Hey? All right, I overslept. Yeah. Well, I think the best thing you can do, son, is to go home and have the rest of your sleep out. What for? I'm giving you the rest of the day off. Hey, just a minute, hang about. You can't suspend him just like that. I'm not going to suspend him, son. No. You come back here at 8 o'clock tonight, butler. You're on night duty, son. Oh, blimey, you can't do that with me. I've got a date with a bird after work. What, in there? <laughs> Look, Butler, either you're on night duty or you come up there and see the general manager. Well, I suppose... I suppose we'd better go and do it then, Jack, that's all. Oh, right? no, 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 not Jack, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not having him signing you in again, though. No, I'm not daft, mate. I may be silly, but I'm not daft. <laughs> now, look here. You can go on that number nine bus over there, Jackie boy. It's due out in ten minutes. Oh, good. I don't have to do nights with Stan, then. No, you don't have to do nights with Stan, mate. <laughs> You can do them next week. <laughs> I'm having a lovely day today. <laughs> Can't you tell the difference between the men and the women? Why don't you look through the window? I did. And then when I saw all the writing on the wall, well, naturally, I thought it was ours. The tip is right on the wall, do they? You're joking, mate. They're worse than us. Go on. <laughs> they, do, they don't do right, mate. They do drawings as well. <laughs> There's a drawing in there. I haven't got time now. I better nip over to Jim Kip, but I'll tell you later on. I'm not to It's not six o'clock yet. You wake Stan. You must have a good day's sleep. I keep forgetting. Yes. Oh, oh. Shh. If you wake him. Oh. Well, don't clump about like that. Take your shoes off. I have taken my shoes off. Oh, well, I suppose you've just got blooming heavy feet. <laughs> oh, hold it. Oh. Ah! What do you leave your shoes lying around in the hall for? I nearly killed myself. Shh. Don't you shush me. I typically you leaving stuff about. Shh. Don't make so much noise. What are you all whispering about? Have you got laryngitis or something? <laughs> it's Stan. He's asleep. Asleep? Sleep. Yes, he's on the night shift. Night? Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ought to suit him. Lately, he's been working harder at nights than he has done during the day. <laughs> at least I can watch my television in peace tonight. <gasps> Shh! Don't switch on the telly. He's bound to hear it. All right, so I'll shut the door. Oh, that's a good idea. Ow! <laughs> Oh, what do you think you're doing? Listen, mate, I want to get some kit in. I, I've only got two hours. You got me up two hours early, mate. Well, that's fair enough. That's what you've been doing to me every day this week. Oh, look, love, you can watch the telly later. What, I miss my wrestling? Why should his night shift interfere with my pleasure? Because it interferes with my pleasure. If I don't get my sleep, I won't be able to wrestle with Dory, will I? <sighs> now, keep quiet. Let me get some kit in. All right, love, I'll see to it. Here, have a nice, quiet read of the paper, dear. That's it. I'll try not to rustle it. He might wake his lordship. 
Oh, I'll make you some tea, Arthur. Would you like a nice fried egg? No, it's a good idea. Carefully, eh? crack the egg. Don't make too much noise. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't do that, love. Really, last time she cracked one, she broke the basin. Oh, oh. oh hello, Mrs. Oh, B. I'll just come round to see Stan. Yes. Oh, huh? What's all around now? Oh, it's you, is it? Oh, you're up. I thought you might still be asleep. Asleep? What, in this house? They make enough noise here to wake the dead mates. Here, do you manage to get in touch with Dorling? Oh, she hasn't finished till nine o'clock, does she? This is murder, this is. Here, I'll tell you what you can do. Hmm? Nip round on your bike tonight. Tell her I won't be able to see her, will you? Yeah, OK. Yeah, 14 Villiers Road she lives. Tell her I'll see her sometime tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Fed up with this. She's working all day long and I'm working all night. Oh, well, never mind, love. It's only for a few weeks. You know, when the war was on, your dad was on night shift for five years. We both worked in the same factory. The only time we saw each other was in the air raid shelter. And you know, if it hadn't been for the German bombers, Olive might never have been born. <laughs> oh! Did you hear that, Arthur? Yeah. Hitler had a lot to answer for, didn't he? <laughs> Love. Yeah, just lightly boil it this morning, will you, Ma? I'm feeling a little queasy. Right, oh, love. Oh, there's Stan. I wonder how he got on. Morning, yeah. Mum. Hello, love. Ah, ah, all that night work gives me an appetite. Yes. <laughs> you got me grub ready, in? Oh, lovely, all lot. <laughs> I'm keeping it in the oven. Ah, lovely. <laughs> How's it going, Arthur, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a nice uh, hard night kit, mate, ready for hard day's work? Do you mind not being so arty? I'm not my best in the morning. And now that comes from looking in the shaving mirror, mate. There's your boiled egg, and Thank there's you your dinner stand. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Steak and kidney pudding, Arthur, mate. My favourite. <laughs> Boy, am I going to do that justice, yes. Mum? You do not intend eating that this time of the morning, I hope. Of course I do. I have a good nush up, don't I, after I've finished work? Nice cup of tea, love. Oh, Mum, no, you should know better than that. Cup of tea? Oh. What, with steak and pudding? Oh, no, no. Oh, what are you going to get? What are you getting now? I don't know. He is a boy, you know. He's... No, we're going to have a nice glass of stout with it. <laughs> stout? <laughs> Here's your fancy one, mate. Oh, thank you. You put me off my tea. <laughs> I'll put a nice hot water bottle in your bed, love. Oh, don't worry about that, Mum. I'm going straight out after I've had my grub. Going out? Yeah, I'm going to try and catch Dory before she goes to work. But, love, it's half past seven in the morning. She might still be in bed. That's what he's hoping. <laughs> oh, Stan, it's not decent going to a girl's house at that hour in the morning. Oh, no, but it's different to when Dad was on night work, isn't it? Eh? Well, we haven't got air raid right, shelter. <laughs> oh, Stan! Oh, <laughs> we, uh, we thought you were the milkman. Did you? What, what, what are you doing here? Oh, well, uh, uh, you know that message you asked me to uh, bring round? Well, I, I couldn't get round last night, so uh, I popped round this morning. Oh, I see. Darling! Oh. Yeah, I'm coming, love! Um, not you, she means me. Hurry up, sweetheart. I've got our breakfast ready. <laughs> breakfast? Oh, I get it. Uh, now, 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 Stan, don't get excited. Uh, what do you mean, don't get excited, uh, I mean, mate? We're, we're mates, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, think of the number of times I've signed you in. And now you've signed yourself in. <laughs> Jackie, darling, I think you ought to get yourself an extra couple of pints. Extra couple of pints? Because I suppose you need the extra energy. Ah, <laughs> oh, get inside, Jackie, darling. Your breakfast is getting cold. Nah. <laughs> My drivers are always right and always say, never trust your conductor, mate. Sorry, Stan, mate, but it's not my fault if you're too slow on the accelerator, is it? Hey? <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it, eh? I do all the driving and he comes along and collects the fare. <laughs> Thank you. 
On the buses, number six, part one, production number 0261, date recorded 20th of the 6th, 69, take one. collect your tickets today. Great stuff. <laughs> You're not going on, are you? Of course I am. Two gorgeous weeks in sunny Spain, mate. How do you know you're going to like it in Spain, anyway? Because you're going to be back here in England. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jack, see this, mate? The tickets were right, boy. God, I can hardly wait. God, Bert was telling me the birds are knee-deep on the beaches. <laughs> oh, just think they're lying there now in the sun waiting for us. And in three days' time, they'll just be ripe. <laughs> yeah, just like, just like melons. You have to squeeze them to see if they're ready. <laughs> you two weak-kneed, washed-out Romeos. <laughs> you think beautiful girls are going to bother with you two? Not unless the sun's driven them delirious first. Don't yeah. you worry, mate. We've got a good gimmick. Have me, Jack. Show him, show him. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> a camera? Yeah. What's good set then? Listen, mate, this is a special one. I borrowed it off Bert. You get the picture straight away, see? Just pull it out of the back there, like that. Bird's fall for it, you see. They think we're a couple of these uh, photographers from Chelsea, you see. I pose them, he snaps them. <laughs> the girls in Spain are never going to fall for that old guff. Oh. You're done about Spain, mate. They fell for it for a wet weekend in Yarmouth last year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't miss. We're organised. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something. Look, I've got the tape measure. He's got the camera. Yeah. Tape measure? Yeah. You mean to tell me the girls are going to fall for that? <laughs> they think we're going to put their pictures on the front of the magazines. <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> Busman's Gazette. <laughs> Listen, mate, as soon as the birds know they're going to be photographed, they start stripping off. They do, yeah. 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 Disgusting. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Eileen, darling, do you want your picture taken? What, now? Yeah, yeah it's one of them new cameras. Couple of seconds and you can see the picture. Oh, yeah. I've heard about them. All right. Yeah, all right, then. Just stand there, Just here, a darling. minute. Must take my jacket off. What I tell you, what I tell you! <laughs> Hey, give me another half hour, mate. They're standing there in the ticket machine. <laughs> yeah, well, um, uh, you'd better measure the I, focus, Stan, I think. Oh, I thought. Yes, I'd better. Would you hold the. Uh, um, I'll hold that then. Where uh, shall we take it to then, Jack? Uh, well, which bit do we want in sharpest focus? Then? Uh, well, I don't know uh, yet, really. Uh, um, uh, well, measure it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, Stanley. Uh, measure it to the nearest point then. <laughs> Perhaps on second thoughts, we'd better measure it to the second nearest point, I know. Yeah. How's that? Uh, 63, that's lovely. Thank right. you very much. Right, hold that, darling. That's lovely. There we go. Can I see it now? Oh, it just takes a few seconds to develop, love. Oh, oh well, I'll go and get me way, Bill, then. I'll be back. Uh, yes, but that tape measure only measures the distance to your subject. I mean, what about the distance on the camera, this distance finder? <laughs> he ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a fixed focus. <laughs> <laughs> You're depraved, a pair of you. <laughs> oh, now, Stan, look at that, mate. Hey, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, hey. We can see what your minds was on, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got to admit, it was in focus. Well, that one is, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Two lazy, lecherous layabouts. <laughs> Decent girls ain't safe with a pair of you about. We don't only take birds, we take fellas as well, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, we'll do you a favour, we'll take one of you, that? Yeah. Oh, it's an idea, yes. I, uh, I could send one to my old mother. <laughs> She's never had one of me taken in my uniform in the depot before. Yeah, that's yeah. understandable. All right, then. <laughs> well, we'd better take him side face, I think. All right, side okay. face. Stand just a minute. Uh, uh, moment, moment. Uh, well, yeah. which is his best side? Oh, no, no, Blimey, ain't got one. <laughs> now, stop mucking me about. Are you going to take the picture or not? We're trying to find... What? 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 
Ah, yeah. Marvellous idea, Jack. You with a bus in the background. Come on, Ah, the bus in the background. I thought you'd like that. I thought you'd like that. Yes, yes, yeah. Left, 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 left. All right, boy. Oh, that's lovely. Now, now, smile a bit, Blakey. Come on. Yeah. I am smiling. Say cheese. Cheese? No, 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 you'll have to do it more than that. Don't show up on a small picture. Look, look, lift your top lip up and show them, cos you've got nice choppers. Yeah, bit more. Yeah. That's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, Lee. I'm not ready yet. I'm no, hang about, I'll show it to you. Here you two, I've got your holiday tickets. Uh, you've got to sign for them. Oh, good. Uh, there we are. Right, lovely, 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 lovely. Oh. Do you know what? I might take my snorkel and me underwater flippers, Jack. Yeah, I think I'll pack my water wings. <laughs> Well, you can take yeah. your deep sea diving kit for all I care, but don't forget only 33 pounds of baggage are allowed. Is that oh, all? That's all. Well, that means that if we're over the top, we've got to pay. Yeah, yeah, it's all there in the envelope oh. and about the plane, the hotel, everything. And don't forget, coach leaves here at 10 o'clock Saturday night. All right? Yeah, love like that. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Thanks, Nobby. See you. Good on, mate. Yeah. Oh, Blakey boy. Oh, those beautiful birds in Spain. Oh. <laughs> you know, I feel sorry for them, really. I mean, there's so many of them and there's only one of me. <laughs> Still, I'll do my best to spread myself round a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind about thinking about picking beautiful young girls up off the beach. Get in that bus over there and think about picking up some ugly old girls in the ice street. <laughs> Go on then, get in the bus, you're late. All right, we take it you don't want to see your picture then. Oh, is it, uh, it's finished, is it? Yeah. Oh, Stanley, what? now what? that is a very good likeness. <laughs> <laughs> That is a marvellous picture. That's very, very good indeed. Is it like me, is it? Oh, yeah. You think my mother will recognise me? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nothing like me at all. That's not me, is it? It must be. It says so on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Have a row up your tickets. Have a row. Oh, two gorgeous weeks in sunny Spain. Oh, any lucky off. Getting away from this terrible weather. I don't really see the point. You'll probably catch pneumonia when it gets up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, what do you want to go to Spain for anyway? Because it's different. It's got a different sort of an atmosphere, that's why. Certainly has with air plumbing. <laughs> How would you know? Brahma, you and her only go to lower stuff every year. Oh, it's very nice, Stan. They have lovely bloaters. <laughs> oh, yes, it has happy memories for them, love. They went there on their honeymoon. Never been able to look a bloater in the face since. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely place when you're newly married. I remember it well. Did you go there on your honeymoon? No, oh, she cabled us on ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame it's so expensive, love. Otherwise, I'd have come to Spain with you. Yeah, yeah, it is, but uh, doesn't make any difference. It's, uh, wouldn't suit you there, Mum. Yeah. No, you save it up for his honeymoon. Oh. <laughs> Only thing that's wrong with low stuff is generally it's too cold for me to wear my bikini. Yeah, well, of course, that is one of the advances of going. <laughs> oh, well, the food's British anyway, and you don't get upset like you do in Spain. Oh, I must pop down to the chemist, get your pills. I don't want any pills. Of course you do, cos you get the collywobbles. <laughs> oh, that's the front door. Oh. oh, that'll be Jack. Olive, let him in, will you, love? Oh, Jack? Yeah. Oh, I'm worried about you going with Jack. Oh. Here, you won't get up to any mischief, will you, love? <laughs> I'm looking to assure you we're just going up for a pure rest. Ah, that's Hello, Mr. Oh, hello, hello, hello. 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 Cup of tea, dear? Uh, no, thanks. I've just had one. Oh. Yeah, no, I know. I've got some smashing gear for the beach for yeah. us to yeah. impress the birds. Hey, eh? birds? <laughs> I thought you were going for a rest. Uh, what he meant was, Jim, uh, he's got a bit of gear to make us look smart. Oh, yeah, how about those? Right. Huh? Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> you can't win that. It's not decent. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. You can go in the water with him and all. Oh, well, I hope they're shrink proof. <laughs> I mean, that could be very embarrassing. It could be very painful, too. <laughs> Well, you won't be able to go on the beach, not in them things, for only five minutes the first day. I read all about Spain. You go red. Mm. And our family got such delicate skins, love. <laughs> oh, yes. Remember that first time at Lowestoft when I got so sunburnt on the first day, Arthur? 
I was so sore for the rest of our stay, I couldn't bear Arthur to touch me. <laughs> oh, I remember that year. It was a very good holiday. <laughs> now, you won't be able to go on the beach not in the first week, not with those things on. No, perhaps the old girl's right. Yes. Got anything else in that bag? Oh, I've got plenty. I've got them cheap for the job yes. lot. Here, how about oh, that? Oh, that's yeah. all right. Oh, no, that's better. You, you can go sunbathing in there. Yeah. Yes. 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 Look at that, oh, see? Right. Yeah, it's a pity. It's a pity we can't get a bit of sunbathing in before we go. We'll give ourselves a bit of a start, you know? Oh, yeah, it'd be lovely to turn up all nice and sunburned for the birds, wouldn't it? We yeah. can see it all now. You two wandering around them Spanish beaches looking like a couple of randy lobsters. <laughs> I don't like that sort of talk. Nor me. We may be randy, but we won't look like lobsters. Stan! <laughs> Give you a quick rub down with some diesel oil if you like. Come on, get him brown. You're not, but your goose pimples are. Yeah, it's a bit nippy, isn't it? Shall we turn it in? Oh, it's still got five minutes left. Yeah, all right. That's asking for trouble, isn't it? Well, you don't shut your gob, you'll be asking for trouble. Well, if somebody's pinched you close, you'll just have to go back like that, won't you? I can't drive through town like this, mate. I'm a bus driver, not Lady Godiva. <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about. She got away with it. Well, I'm not waiting here for my hair to grow. <laughs> Seven minutes late. Get in. What do I say if a copper stops me? Well, tell him it's the bus company's latest gimmick. Topless drivers. <laughs> Any more cracks like that and you will be a toothless conductor. I'm telling you, I'm not driving through the town like this. Late again, butler. What excuse is it this time, eh? Well, we, uh, um, uh, we, we had a bit of an old up at the cemetery gates. Cemetery gates? <laughs> You don't have come out with some strokes, mate. At cemetery gates, nothing ever happens at that dead and alive hole. Come on, get out. Hey. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> 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 You started your holidays a bit earlier or something. <laughs> this is a city bus depot, mate, not the Costa Braver. Gets, gets a bit hot in that cab, see? Hot. Yeah. hot in the cab? You know the regulations, butler. Busmen are not allowed to remove their trousers whilst on duty. Gets a bit hot. I suppose every time it gets a bit hot, you whip your trousers off, do you? <laughs> I've read about blokes like you in the Sunday papers, mate. No, look at it. Just a minute. Don't intimidate him. As shop steward, I'm here to tell you, he is within his rights. And he's right. 
<laughs> what right you got to take his trousers off? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ollie, I can't overlook this, mate, no. Look, look, just, just take a look at him, look. look ghastly, horrible, disgusting sight it is, look. Well, if I'd have known you'd have felt like that, I'd have given me legs a rub down with emery paper. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't overlook this, son. No, you can't go around wearing what you like, you know. Well, you let them Indians wear their turbans. <laughs> that is for their religion. Well, I'm dressed like this because of my religion. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them gurus. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Maharishi Butler. Maharishi <laughs> Butler. I suppose he's sitting in that cab up there, contemplating his navel at the traffic lights, <laughs> wait, wait, waiting to see it go from red to green. <laughs> Get them trousers on quick. I can't. I can't, I tell you. Well, all right, I tell you the truth, we was doing a bit of sunbathing down the cemetery and, and uh, they got nicked. Sunbathing? And you, you just took your trousers off. <laughs> Takes all sorts, I suppose. Look, mate, look, can't you see the length of the sleeves and the coat? This is not my coat, not my pullover. They belong to Jack here. They nicked all my uniform. I'm afraid I'll have to report that to the management. Why? Oh, you'll have to pay for that, you know that, don't you? Oh, yes, oh, they'll, they'll probably stop that out of your, your bonus money. You've got oh, no, it. turn it in, Blake. You played a white man, mate. No, I need that money. I'm going on my holidays tonight. With... Look, couldn't you just say it was damaged in an accident or something? Yeah, yeah. I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> no, we've all got our job to do, mate. You better go up the stores and get yourself a new uniform. Blowing the way you carry on, you wouldn't think it was my uniform they nicked. You'd think it was the bus. Nothing that surprised me about you, mate. As a matter of fact, perhaps I'd better go around and see if this is a bus you went out with. <laughs> Shut your face. That's uh, two vests, six ounces. Right. Evening all. Evening. Hello. What the hell are you up to? Shh, shh, shh. Eight and a half ounces of pants. <laughs> You've gone potty or something? No, I've not gone potty, mate. Somebody nicked my uniform. They've stopped it out of my bonus. I'm only allowed 33 pounds of weight, so I've got to weigh everything to make sure I don't go over the top. Mate. Ah, now in the socks. 12 ounces of socks. Love, that's a lot of socks, isn't it? Cut that down. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have two ounces of socks <laughs> and eight ounces of soap flakes. <laughs> Right. I've got these here for you special. Shall yeah. I put them in the case? No, no, you've got to wear them first, Mum. Oh, right, Ella. Yeah, right. There we are. Four pounds, two ounces. Four pounds, two... Blimey, what, what are you in there, then? Well, that's all your medicines for your stomach. <laughs> you must be potty. I, I haven't got stomach trouble. You wait till you get there. There's no health service in Spain, love. You haven't got any money to pop down to the chemist or go and see the doctor. You're right. OK. You are. Right. What's these box of pills? That's your enteric violet tablets. What are they for? What? They're stopping getting the collie wobbles. Uh, 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 and uh, this. God blimey, what's this big bottle of medicine for? Well, well, that's in case the pills don't work. <laughs> that's your choline mixture. Well, how will I know these are not working? You'll soon find out, mate. <laughs> Some of these things oh, are because I'll tell you what, I don't want them to get broken. There's one there. Yeah, Hang yeah. on to that. Well, I just wrapped them in the paper because if you don't get the plenty of paper around them, they'll get broken. And I don't want these things to get broken. This is ridiculous. I'm taking more newspaper and I'm close. How much weight is your stand? Oh, you are, love. There they are. Now there. One. One. Nine ounces. Nine ounces. Two. One pound, two ounces. Wait a minute. How come one should weigh more than the other? You step in something with that one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. God, no. I mean, what's all this in here then? Oh, that, that's your shoe polish. Brown, black, and white. Three tins of boot polish? Yes. Blimey, I'm only taking one pair of shoes and they're suede. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, Olive, uh, add all that lot up, see what it is. See what it comes to. Uh, now, let me see. If I had 410 pounds of potatoes. Yeah, if you had 400. I... Hang on, uh, hang on. What are you talking about, potatoes? I'm not packing potatoes. Well, at school, we always did pounds and ounces like that. I can only do it in potatoes. I'll oh, give it here. If you leave it here, you'll get the answer in furlongs. <laughs> <laughs> if 
Divide by 16. Yeah. Yeah. 32 pound, one ounce. That means you've got 15 ounces left. Oh, 15 ounces? I've got all this not to go in yet. Well, you just can't take everything, can you? I mean, what's... Oh, blimey. Male talc by Prince Igor of Paris. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> the masculine talc the women adore. Feel the smoothness of your skin. Also has deo... Well, there's 12 ounces of deodorant for a start. That's my shirt. Oh, lovely, isn't it, eh? Always wear it half a seat when I take yeah, the bird out. That's it. Wait it one. God, blimey, 12 ounces. Oh. No, take that off. I might as well take the deodorant, because if I don't take the deodorant, I might not have a bird to take out. Oh, <laughs> hey, you're not up to do it. I can take out one of these bottles of medicine. Oh, and not to put the shirt in. No, oh, love, love, you must have a drink of that every day. Oh, no. Why don't we put one of these in the pocket of your raincoat? Yeah, they don't wear your clothes you wear, do they? No, they don't. Yeah, and all those tins of grubbing go in there. Oh, you're oh, never going to get all these sweaters and things in, are you? The sweaters, no, uh, I'll tell you what, Arthur, I can wear those under the raincoat. Yes, come on. Oh, yeah. What about his packets of tea? What oh, are you yes. taking tea for? Well, Mrs Harding said that the tea in Spain is like hot water with a suntan. <laughs> and three bob a cup. So... Well, bag them in then, love. Well, they're not going to give you boiling water to make your own tea, are they? Hang on. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Here. Your little picnic set. I'm not going to take my hand. Of course I'm going. There's the fucking Here we are. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? They'll never see that. Well, all right. Well, all right, pack up now. I think I've got enough now. Yes. I think I've got just about 33 pounds. Right. I don't want to go over the top, Ted. No, you don't. No, I've been Push it down. Yeah. You win one. Just stop thinking, Arthur. Give us a hand with this guy. But I've had a thought, mate. No, look, don't, don't sit there. Don't think, mate. Go check. Give us a hand with this guy. All right, all right, all right. Come and give him a hand. I've got to be there at 10 o'clock and I. Oh, blimey. He'll never get the case. He'll never get to Spain in this thing. Ow. God, blimey. You want elephant to sit on that to shut that? I'll leave. See you on the case. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on. There you go, I'll love. Just this That's it. Ah, oh, get off, you big fat! No, I've got fingers in there. Go oh. on. Oh, right now, take your time. I'll tell you when to get on. Right, now sit on it. Sit. That's, that's ah, it. That's, that's it. it now. I can't get my hand out from my knee up. Get it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right now. Now then, what was you saying, Arthur? Well, I was thinking, you're only allowed to take 33 pounds, right? That's right, that's right. I oh, wait, it carefully, so oh, I didn't go over the top, see? Yeah. And you've forgotten something? No? What? What? You didn't wait a case. Oh, <laughs> Why'd no. you say so in the first place to me? Because you told me to shut up, didn't you? Oh, stand. Uh, come on, Arthur. Well, don't stand it. I've all taken come on. Oh, Is he taking a baby on a tour like this? Yeah, especially when he's on his honeymoon, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a stand arrived, Jeff. I don't know. God almighty, oh, look at that. Come on, butler. <laughs> I think I'd prefer doing your knickers, mate. <laughs> Here, Stan, you've forgotten the kitchen sink. Oh. What's all that, then? Well, you see, I, I couldn't afford any excess baggage, so I've got it all on me. I've, I've even got my flippers on me. <laughs> Caught on off under the collar, I'm not joking. Well, take your raincoat off, then. What are you talking about? It took three quarters of an hour to get it on. <laughs> Lovely, mate. If all the other passengers are like you, the plane will never get off the ground. Oh, Stan, have you got your ticket? I'll give it to you when I get on the bus. Oh, yes, right. Come on, then. Right. There we are. Come on, get on the bus, then. Oh, oh, oh Charla. Oh, that's a good boy. That's right. Oh, Charla. 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 Oh, I'm not driving this bus. <coughs> yes, that's right, uh, that's right, Butler. Yes, I uh, allocated you to drive this coach to the airport. No, I'm on my holidays. Yes. It's worth four quid to your son. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da, oh, right. Here he goes, there. Right, here he goes. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, and don't forget this is a coach, not a bus. Don't go stopping at request stops. Don't worry, mate, I never do. <laughs> <laughs>